All right. Welcome back from break. What is up, everyone? What is up? Phil, Jelly, Derek, how are you all doing? So nice to talk to you again. How was your wee wee? My <laughs> snow wee was amazing. It was very much needed. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, man. I, nothing yeah. makes me happier than hearing that you had a good wee. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, dude, a good wee is very important. Really, really important. We was that the joke really? you were making? Really, really. <laughs> 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 I was about to do that awful thing where, like, you make a cool joke and then someone else just repeats it like a bit louder. Like, yes. Isn't that the worst? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that was my joke. <laughs> what is up, Carl? Lucas? Cool. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And yeah. What have you been up to, to the, like this week, Derek? Have you been planning anything special for us today? Yes, uh, death. Lots of death. Um, yeah, but I don't why? know. You know, I used to try and keep like prep to like an hour a week, like when we were jungle trekking. I guess because like everything was pretty much random most of the time. Mm -hmm. We were just like, there was a lot more improv and like random encounters so that you can't really prep that unless you prepare something for every single like random encounter out of 50 or whatever. So it used to be like an hour of, of prep a week, but I'm doing quite a bit more than that these days. Right. Uh, but it's, it's, it's more fun prep, I would say. Are you just like so, sitting, yeah. sitting in your DM tower going like, <laughs> oh, I can't exactly. wait to throw I've that been, uh, at them. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more evil cackling, I've noticed. <laughs> uh, I think one day my actual laugh will just be replaced by an evil cackle, just out of habit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burns laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to work on it. Uh, I'm very tired. I went to the pub yesterday and uh, yeah. I don't remember leaving the pub or getting home, but I woke up and all of my clothes were on inside out. So I've obviously gotten home, got undressed to get into bed, and then went, it's too cold, and put my clothes back on, but inside out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't okay. know why I did that. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. How is I mean, you, get jelly? Double, you get double the wear out of them before you have to wash them, right? There's there's logic yeah. to it. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah. Then uh, I got Mortarian. Got Mortarian oh, turned up today. Nice. So. Oh, I'm dude. Have I shared? Like, leave it outside. <laughs> have I shared like what I? got as like new minis with you yet i don't think so oh okay i got the start collecting anvil guard from Ooh. age of sigmar with like the giant characters slash hydra thing i was just like oh i'm God. gonna paint that up as a as a brass dragon because yeah. why not <laughs> it looks sick yeah looks they look like dark elves they are Dark Elves. They used to be Dark Elves in Warhammer Fantasy, pretty sure. That dragon thing looks weird. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Too spook. Too, Too spook, spook for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. I was gonna get Star Collecting uh, Thousand Suns. Mm -hmm. Just because I like... I like their style. But then um, if I start I Collecting like Thousand Suns... in general, uh, kind of like Chaos in Warhammer 40k. Because you don't have to put the stupid transfers on their shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the stupid yeah, little stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ge gen generally, they've all got, like, the, uh, the the shoulder pad has, like, the emblem kind of sticking out of it a little bit. So you can just paint it the colour. Like, the all the mm. Death Guard have just got, like, skulls coming out of them and mouths all over them and stuff like that. The Thousand Suns just look badass as well, but the only problem with if I start collecting Thousand Suns is they have a £70 model as well, and I'll end up having to buy that, and I kind of don't want to, but I'll, I'll, I will have to if I collect them. 
See, this is why this is why I don't want to play the game. I just I'm just interested in models. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was I was looking at like uh, elite armies, and there's some armies where you can just buy like nine models and turn up to games and just fight people. So nice. I was like, right, okay, let's have a look and see which ones they are. And uh, but they're really expensive because obviously Games Workshop know that you can do that, so they charge more for the models. <laughs> that is a great that is a great quote, Derek. <laughs> Thank you for taking what I say out of context entirely. Perfect. <laughs> no problem, no wow. uh, What is up, Staney? I almost said Ava again. How are you doing today? Someday you'll be able to tell us apart. <laughs> Maybe when Actually, Ava I'm not dies. About that. I mean, when <laughs> Ava dies and I play a character that, whose name does not start with an A sound. Maybe. Can you just like <laughs> forever play something that starts with an A so you get confused nah, every time? Nah. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> uh, all right. What have you been? Well, I guess what you've been up to is getting up out of bed. Yeah. But. Mhm. Mm but I did make barbecue chicken pizza last night, and it was pretty good. Ooh, damn! That sounds awesome. Everyone is having good pizza today. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a good pizza. Uh, what did I miss? <laughs> oh, I just I just was craving pizza earlier. Because people were talking about pizza. Mm. Uh, am I not having pizza? No. I'm not having pizza. I'm resisting the urge. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I had come uh, out wrap and it came in this cool box and I'm going to keep the box and I'm going to line it with bubble wrap and I'm going to put my... My models and stuff in it, because uh, it's Damn. a good box, but it has got tortilla wrap written on it, which I think is going to be funny if I ever go and play <laughs> with some people and I just turn up with, they're like, oh, I set your dinner, and I'll be like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> turn up to a game with a like, food box and like a pint. Yeah. <laughs> where's, your, where's, your, where's your models, dude? They're in here. <laughs> nice. Jelly, how was your week? Uh, not too bad. Pretty busy with work, um, but otherwise, yeah, not, not bad. Same old, same old. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Alright. You mean work um, isn't exciting? What are you talking about? I know, it's crazy. Office it? work? That office work is not the pinnacle of excitement, but I'm um, sorry I to for, disappoint personally. you. <laughs> but didn't you just get like a real cool haircut? I did actually. That was that was last weekend, but yeah, yeah. I I got a very 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 different haircut. Okay, now I, I need usually to... have. Yeah. <laughs> you have to look on my Twitter. <laughs> it okay. looks amazing. Okay, <laughs> give me a second. I'm opening I'm opening up Twitter now because <laughs> I am yeah. really curious now. Uh... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Looking good there. <laughs> anyway. Thanks. Not awkward at all. Great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, well. Oh, yeah. How was start you, Miss Danny? It was real good to get back to. Yeah. I, my, the end of the stream literally snuck up on me. It was after seven and I looked at the clock and I'm like, oh, we have to stop here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Derek will probably be sad that I was not the parsnip queen this time. No. I went for <laughs> potatoes and cauliflower. <laughs> what? How could you? Because and they're the more money. <laughs> <laughs> See, the beauty of that meme is that you could just take the root vegetable and switch it for another one. You could be the potato queen next time, if you want. The yeah. cauliflower queen. <laughs> cauliflower queen sounds better because of the alliteration. <laughs> cauliflower sounds to me like the sort of silly old English word that Americans would change and give it some, some like snappier new name. 
What would you, I'm like aubergine would you versus eggplant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what would be like cauliflower? Cloud cloud plant. Cloud. <laughs> 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 Actually, White yes. White broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Chiffleur. I'm getting reminded of like that meme in from Wednesday when just people are like, Hey, you know, my face when Americans call chocolate glubber knots candy bars and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. Anyway. Right. Isn't that from the... There's like a long list of those as like rooty tooty point and shooty or something as the... Yes, or my favorite hoity toity tippy typers. <laughs> <laughs> there was a quite a good video Andrew WK did where he was trying British food and he had to name it and they gave him party rings and he's the king of party and he, he just got it. He absolutely nailed it. He spent about five minutes analyzing what they were and they're like, they're a ring and they've got icing on and uh, they're a biscuit, or like a cookie. I'm gonna call them party rings. <laughs> <laughs> but he was calling everything party, because he's Andrew okay. Yeah. I think that was a good lesson in uh, Americans naming things. I think it was quite fun. <laughs> oh, well. I feel like, honestly, how about we jump into the game two minutes early? What do you think, what do you think peeps? Sure. All right. Let me just pause the music. I will let you do, well, both music and recap, Derek. Stage is yours. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, Estaney, if you wouldn't mind doing the honors. Previously on Tomb of Annihilation. After D&D &D Christmas and a nice snooze, our brave buds return to the entrance of the Tomb of the Nine Gods, seeking the entrance. Oh man, I really hastily wrote this yesterday, <laughs> so it's oh, going to no. be uh, it's going to be great. Ava donned the magical pendant with an eye shape that had been found behind Unk's statue, and it began to tug her towards the tomb entrance. Towards the true tomb entrance, that is, some 50 feet to the west of the trapped false entrance, that had claimed Orbex's life. Inserting the puzzle cubes with enemies opposing, the great stone slab blocking the entrance to the tomb slid away, revealing a damp passageway scented with rot, foreboding and uninviting. The tomb delving began. On reaching the central grand staircase, Aldrich spotted a squad figure on the balcony below. It peered up at him a moment before quickly stepping out of sight. Getting the layout of the place, the group continued to explore, uncovering several cryptic warnings embossed in brass plaques that spook themselves into their minds, and found one skeleton key with a metal square shape on its head. On one level, Graeme began collecting some purple mold that seemed like it may have some potent, potent alchemical properties. However, a bloodshot eye on a stalk popped out and fired a painful magical ray of force her way. Eventually, the group came to a door with three zombies chained to a pulley system on the other side. Their efforts to reach and consume the group's living flesh holding the door closed. Ava called upon the watery magic of Estitia and quickly destroyed them, instructing her own zombie boys to open the door for her. Which is where we will pick up um, after we do character recaps. So let's start with um, Aldrich. Hello, I'm King Philip X. You can't you can't see what I'm doing. I made an anime noise and I did a peace symbol. Um, <laughs> I'm playing Aldrich Mer, uh, Protector, ASMR, Warlock. And next up, Grainy. What is up? I'm um, Snow Chicken Lord. I'm going to be playing Grainy, who is our physician, rogue, and also recently was um, granted the gift of divine power from Gond. Ava. Hey, yeah, I am Estini. I am playing Ava Wind Reaver, half orc, uh, 
Tempest Cleric to Istitia. And Helby. Hello, I'm Jelly Witch. I am playing Helby Nick Gable, who is a Beastmaster Ranger Forest Gnome and has a companion Velociraptor called Vossi. Alright, so right at the end of last time you guys um, cracked this zombie door open. Um, I'm going to reread to you the box text that triggered on opening that door. <clears throat> Six glass cauldrons brimming with humanoid bones line the walls of this tomb, at the center of which stands an ancient chariot bearing a bronze sarcophagus with treasure strewn atop it. Paintings on the chariot's body show a tall bird with a long, sharp beak. On the south wall, a bronze shield bears the embossed image of a Chilton warrior carrying a spear, below an inscription that reads, Bow before no one. Four bronze statues stand on pedestals to either side of the shield. They depict Chilton warriors, one holding a sword, two with spears, and one missing its face. Oof. What you gonna do? Um... Hmm. We should look for the one missing its face's face. <laughs> if if you recall the second warning of Acerak, Acerarak, Acerarak, Acerarak. Yeah, yeah. The first half is like French pronunciation. I I, I struggle with this a lot. It took me <laughs> ages to understand, but yeah, Acerarak. There's a lot. There's too many R's in there. Uh, you know what? If there was just an accent over that first E, going That's the right. opposite way, you expect, it'd be fine. <laughs> that would really change the tone of the character, though. I feel like I, I think most like... people would then yeah, he would, he would speak like this. Don't my doom! I'm going to kill you. Do as the dead god intend. <laughs> Only a jewel can tame the <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, that was the dead god intoned is in the second warning, and there was a thing that says bow before no one, so maybe keep that in mind, especially because this thing was full of zombies. Well, if no one's going to do anything, I'm going to send in... Hold on. I'm going to send in Malesh. That just looks like a big cannon on wheels. I don't Make trust it. Make it safe. Malesh? <laughs> do I need to make a deck save for Malesh? No, no, I was kidding. Sorry about the... Okay. Uh... <laughs> I was like, yes, it is a cannon. It fires at you. Make a dex save. Uh, no, no, sorry. I shouldn't. I shouldn't make these jokes in this place. <laughs> I mean, just make, make a it a little more obvious. Like, la la la. I can't. I, it's against my blood. I can't do it. True. I have to cool. joke in like a totally deadpan way. It's the only way I can do it. All right. Anyway, um, I want to send Malesh in. <laughs> And then basically just walks right up here and then stops. Okay. Well, it appears safe enough. Shall we head inside? Yes. Okay. Uh, Derek, issue I don't have control over Grammy's token. <laughs> Whoa. Grammy's out of control. <laughs> <laughs> How? I don't know, but. Okay, I'll, um, that is, represents Grammy, yes. Can you open your character sheet? Yes. I'd maybe refresh. It's, hold on, maybe if I move you about a little bit. How's that? No, okay, I'm going to refresh. Let's go to yeah. the stat screen, everyone. The, the token <laughs> represents Grammy. You have control over Grammy. That should work. Should be okay. All right. I well... changed your, um, Aldrig, be careful, because we don't know what's past this doorway and there might be traps or stuff going on. I, I, I just spotted this, and uh, I don't want to stand in the direct line of sight of it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying, you should probably put yourself back to where you were until Derek's paying attention. I, okay, well, I mean, I was going to just step into the room. Okay, that's fine, you can push past us all, but I just... Derek's been very particular... 
I think I'm gonna go in the room and touch all the things and pull all the levers, <laughs> like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I cast haste on myself to do it even faster. So what are these what are these statues back here again? Um four Chilton warriors, bronze bronze statues. Um the one on the far left, as you look at it, stage left, is holding a sword. And then the next two left to right are holding spears. And the one on the far right, stage right, is missing a face. Missing one one face. Mm -hmm. It might need a sword. Does it look... Do they all look very similar or, like, um, aside from the weapons that they're holding? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. My initial thought is to put a sword in this guy's hand. If we can find one. Um, and then what's the thing in the middle? Um, a An ancient chariot... Bearing a bronze sarcophagus oh. with treasure strewn. Oh, that Sorry. at the back? Yeah, in the middle um, back. <laughs> is a huge bronze shield. Bearing the embossed image of a Chilton warrior. Below which an inscription reads, bow before no one. Okay. Um, are, we, are we okay, Snow? Can you can you move? You sh yes, shaking off the paralysis? Everything is okay. fine. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Rainy the has slime. overcome her fear <laughs> that was like keeping her in place. <laughs> Hmm. And we're still looking for the guy with the mask, aren't we? We thought he came in here. He um, is conspicuously absent from this room. Strange. I don't think he'd be hiding in the sarcophagus, do you? Well, it Doesn't might be seem worth. Likely. It might be worth checking just in case. <clears throat> well, if we're going to do that. My suggestion would be all of us stand clear and I have Malush do it. Agreed. And <laughs> I will walk behind the corner there. I want to stand in the room. <laughs> oh, you can. That's fine. <laughs> uh, just, I just want to see what happens. Um, Ava says, Malush, go and open that sarcophagus. And then she steps out of the room. Okay, um, Malush and, well, every, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, let me get Ooh. my character sheet up. We're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Helby's like, oh, this is the moment. That's a good initiative, for. Helby. <laughs> And then I'm gonna click on just a random zombie because I can't see Malesh right now. A <laughs> mysterious happening, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, are we all on? Graeme, yes. Aldrig, Ava, Gromach, um, LB. Uh, Vossi? Yep. Or is Vossi chilling? I rolled for Vossi. Um, oh, you need to a... click Vossi's token, so you'll have to add it, yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry, I thought I'd clicked on it. I saw it, no worries. Maybe you had it and it just didn't send it anyway, oh. to be rude. Don't panic! <laughs> uh, 12? Okay. Alright, um, Helby, what you see is, uh, you the cork the cold <laughs> what you see is what you get <laughs> uh the cauldrons that were brimming with humanoid matter um each begin to bubble angrily at the intrusion in the sarcophagus as malash touches the sarcophagus um and the kind of amorphous liquid gloop that's carrying the bones and viscera around um kind of gloop together in all of the four cauldrons at the same time um, and begin to like stick pieces of bone and sinew together um, rapidly assembling uh, several humanoid undead that uh, look to have murderous intent oh, no, not wow murderous intent. Uh, but it's your turn you're uh, you're quick off the mark here Okay, um, 
I can't see them at the moment, so I'm going to have to uh, move forward to where Aldrig is. Hello. Hello. There are undead <laughs> Hello, in new room. friends. <laughs> there are. Okay. Um, so I think I'm just going to shoot an arrow at the one here. Just give me one moment. Did you see it? Sorry. No, I'm doing musics. <laughs> I've only got two eyes. There you go, you guys are going to love this one. You guys are going to love this one. Okay, sorry, uh, Jelly. Which one? This one here. Okay, so remember, um, undead are your favourite enemies. Yes. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> uh... You get, I think it's a plus two. I can't remember it's two. Um, it's in your, your fe features it, list. It won't let me click on it to see what it says. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, greater favoured enemy undead. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, that's natural explorer. What is this doing? <laughs> <laughs> try, try the cog instead of. I don't know what's up with roll twenty today. It's just blank. It doesn't say anything. Um, is it called greater favoured enemy? I could just uh. Yeah. Google it. Yeah, you get a pl there. It is. You get a plus four. Um, okay. two damage rolls. And oh, you cool. have advantage on saving throws against spells and abilities used by them. It's uh, it's that. I'm just gonna put put that in chat. There we go. Oh, thank you. Dang, is that um? Oh, hmm. the thing I was looking at is not correct. Interesting. Yeah, this is a revised ranger one. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it's specific to Beastmaster Rangers. Okay. Um. So yeah. So shooting an arrow at that yeah. guy. Go ahead. Uh, oh, uh, you miss. Okay. <laughs> Tis a miss. Tis a miss. Okay. Uh, and then I think I'm going to move. I can move backwards, can't I? Because I didn't. Uh, you can movement. dash as a bonus action now. That's true. Um, actually, I'm going to stay where I am because then I can see them all, so I can aim at them. That's okay. Okay. Yep. On initiative count 20, a blinding light uh, begins to shimmer in the bronze shield. It's like this golden light, it covers the surface of the shield, makes it almost look liquid for a moment. And then it um, focuses on the center of the shield, uh, at the apex, um, and shoots out of the shield in a um, in a beam that has a <laughs> shape of a shape of a like golden spear as it fires out. Oh, at... you called it. <laughs> <laughs> at, what uh, was I called? Sorry. At, at, at jolly old Malush, um, being the unlucky soul that's or non-soulless creature that's closest. Yeah, uh, I did. So he's hit for twenty-one uh, force damage. Um, he has twenty-two hit points. <laughs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> nice. So Malush is, is hit directly in the center of his chest by this, like, god ray from the shield. Um, and it, like, just blasts him for two or three seconds straight. Um, and he just, like, stays standing on his feet like his arms are flailing. He's, like, stunned. Um, but he still stands. I think part of it, like, goes straight through his torso and comes out the other side. So he's just got this, like, little hole in his in his chest now. He doesn't need that. That's fine. <laughs> and the skeletons uh, climb from the cauldrons and uh, and shamble. Um, so we got thirty. Yeah, that one's gonna dash. Um, I'm gonna start doing attacks. So I'll do this in two in two waves. Um, so, Helby gets attacked, uh, twice. It's 20 for 6. Mm-hmm. And... Miss. A miss. Um, Malash gets attacked once. Okay. Miss. Eight Actually, misses. no, that's a hit. Hold on. Um... So, I'm gonna roll, a uh, con save. Okay. 18. He's hey. fine. All right, he's nice. He's still at 1 HP. <laughs> cool. Okay. 
the, the sturdy Malush laser beams, short swords. Um, two more attacks on Malush. Okay. Uh, that hits. Let me make another con save. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's um, run through by another short sword, and it just like gorps at it dumbly. The next one, fifteen for three. All right. So he's your still DC fine. is eight. He's still up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Malash. This is why zombies uh, are great. <laughs> this is uh, this is personal now. <laughs> another two on Malash. I am a big <laughs> fan of Malash right now. Nineteen. So uh, DC eleven. Oh, he's down. Got him. All right, and then one on. Um, <laughs> he sponged what four different attacks plus the shield. Um, mm -hmm. One on one on Aldric. Whoa. Uh, Fifteen. My armor class is zero. Yeah, I saw, yeah. It keeps changing it. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's, uh, it's I think it's fifteen exactly. Okay. So, so it's, it's minus five. Is that oh, um, taking have... into account you had you have like an at will mage armor? I thought. Does that set it to fifteen? Is that what the effect of that? It would be like thirteen uh, plus dex. Fi so yeah, fifteen. Fifteen's my because I've got uh, the eldritch invocation of mage armor. So yeah, yeah. That would okay. It. No, I just I just wanted to check you were getting the benefit of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. One on one on Helby, one on Aldrich. So Helby first. <clears throat> 16 for 4. Aldrig, 18 for 4. Okay. Graeme. Well, uh, Graeme pokes her head out, sees a bunch of uh, skeletons assaulting her friends. And she will. Uh, run forward. I should hope. I should hope, friends. By this point, <laughs> uh, okay. beep, 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 beep. run forward <laughs> and uh, use her newly acquired short sword. Awesome. Okay. Miss <laughs> entirely, uh, and then turn around, disengage, or like jump yep. back. Disengage and well, no, sorry. Uh, run the run back behind the corner is the point. Okay. Uh, Gromak and Vabugbu. Uh, they have been given the order to fall back. Okay. So I'm going to have them continue to fall back. Okie doke. One of them just falls over backwards, misunderstands <laughs> the order. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> okay, they're done. Okay, hey, Ava. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run into the room. I get stuck on the corner. <laughs> um. I'm going to use my channel divinity to turn on dead. I really hoped you would. I was really oh, hoping no. you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they may be destroyed if they're, if I remember, CL1 or less. Correct. Um, do they get a saving throw? They do that? get a wisdom save. Okay. Um, I will do it in rows left to right. Yeah, you got so a lot of wisdom do... saves. <laughs> yeah, they're all. Um, oh, I didn't use two of my skeletons. Whoops. I'll just move them up like that. Hey, now I can hit them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they would have. They would have charged. Actually, they probably wouldn't have been able to get to anybody to stab. So. Probably not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, eleven wisdom saves coming up. I wish my uh, macros still worked. Twelve, isn't it? Have I missed? Oh, oh yeah, somebody, wow. Somebody's under a... Okay, 12. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. They're not very wise. They all fail. 
<laughs> um, and then oh. let me go ahead and put my destroy undead into Oh it. my god. <laughs> so I there is... am eighth level, so if they're CR one or lower, they just die. <laughs> so because I play shitty video games all the time that were made in like two thousand the year two thousand at the latest, I'm picturing like there's an audio glitch where there's like one skeleton dying audio file. And it just triggers like 12 <laughs> times overlapping <laughs> <laughs> the same sound, like a crumbling of bones, but it like all stacks and overlaps and it's like deafening. Like... So uh, I feel like the way this looks, uh, we see Ava, she has her holy symbol hanging around her neck and she uses her free hand that almost never has a sword in it because she has so many better things to do with that and holds up her holy symbol, chants in orcish, and then this literal wave of holy energy like tsunamis out from her and like washes over the room and as it hits each of these skeletons they just like crumble not like crumble but like break apart <laughs> awesome it's taking me a while to put all the x's on there's too many <laughs> too many x's okay excellent excellent um would you like to do anything else on your turn Apart from destroy literally all of the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> now bring them all back. <laughs> um, I do not have the spell slots for that. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow this room is my, my resource pool. <laughs> uh, let's see, how far did I move? I moved 20 feet. I'll, I'll take a couple steps back. Just okay. in Just in case. <laughs> We'll see. Um, I guess she will just move up behind me. There's nothing for her to attack at the moment, so. Okay. Any um action? If you're not attacking, like you can, you can hide, you can dodge. You can um, dash. let her take the dodge action. Just in okay. case. Perfect. Aldrich. Everything's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but we're still in initiative order. Well, there's still the shield and the mysterious happening. Okay. So what are these are these the statues that you were describing before with the face and the thing and the stuff? Yeah, um left to right all all Chilton warriors, left to right, sword, spear, spear, no face. Can I get one of the skeletons' faces and try and put it on the the one with no face? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Oh yeah, my God. there's a lot of yes. faces about. They're all they're all a jumble of bones <laughs> here and there, so really yeah. You just, you know, take whichever skeletal face you want. Okay. Um, is it this one? With no face? Um, the one on the far right is the one with no face. That one, yeah. Right. That's it. I can get to here. Yeah, so you can... You could take cover behind that pillar. Behind this pillar? Yeah. Cool, I do that. With newly acquired face. Oh, also, zombies might come out of the cauldrons again, so just be aware. I will okay. armor Vagathis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm um, guessing you. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, level nine. Armor Vagathis. <laughs> level nine. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got twenty. Twenty temporary. Health now. Cool. Okay. Help me. Okay, I am going to try and get roll twenty to work. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Um. So I'm going to move there. I think because I want to get a little bit closer to actually there. A little bit closer to that shield, just to see what's going on with it. Um, and 
that'd be me. Uh, make a perception check. Do, 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 do. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you bump your head on the pillar and it's sore, <laughs> sore for a moment. <laughs> okay. Oh god. So, Helby, um, the shield beam fires at you. Okay. Um, you have uh, three quarters cover from being behind the pillar there. Okay. Um, which gives you a plus five to your armor class. Uh, oh. So that makes it 20. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a te <laughs> tense, roll, tense roll for me. Okay, you, um, yeah, it, it's like you, you feel the heat of this of this beam like hitting into the pillar and like starts to melt some of the rock um but it does not impact you cool uh six more skeletons crawl um <laughs> now assembled from the cauldrons i don't see the point of this room <laughs> yeah what's the thing in the middle the shield I think we zapping you. This thing. Oh, oh that's um, a pathway collated yeah. with treasure. Okay. So we gotta solve the puzzle to get the treasure chest to open. I mean, we don't know that it's not open. Did we just know that it's trapped. Did like Malush actually open it, or? Um, he just like touched it and and triggered this whole uh, this whole mess. Uh, so three attacks on you, Aldric. Okay. Um, two hit. They both take 20. Cold. Okay, they are both... Uh... Yep, they are both destroyed <laughs> on, on attacking you. <laughs> uh, so, I'm um... Take nine. Oh, the moment Fagus they... Uh... The best. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, it's my favourite spell in the whole <laughs> game. <laughs> I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> Anything where you can punish people for attacking you is great. <laughs> so, so I, in, right. I intentionally only have 15 AC. <laughs> I feel like it's a nice, it's a nice enough number to like. I am gonna get hit, but maybe I don't always get hit. I mean, I feel that. I, I like getting hit as Ava because then I can shock you back. Sorry, <laughs> Um, so those were on um, on you, Helby. So two hits, I think, for eleven total. Okay, dog. Graeme. Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. Um. Hmm. What if we're supposed to bow before the statue that has no face? Because it says bow before no one. Yeah. I mean. I have no clues as to what to do in this room as a player, so if I may, may I roll like perception or something for a hint? Um, investigation. Investigation, alright. Beep boop boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep 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 beep. Um, the nature of this room and its ancient mysteries are, uh, curious and elusive. Okay. <laughs> well... I guess I will use my bonus action to... run... behind a pillar, then. <laughs> okay, the, um... Investigation check didn't take your action. Oh, it didn't. Okay. No. Then... I'll move here with my bonus action. Attack the skeleton in front of me. Alrighty. Oh no. <laughs> that is a hit. Uh, sneak attack didn't trigger, sorry. Uh, that would be another 46 piercing. 
46. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was really expecting piercing for, to be something they're resistant to. It used um, to be in old versions of D&D. Ah, uh, maybe that's... Okay. And uh, uh, so then you, I'll you just... Yeah. And then I'll just move behind here. Cool, okay. Gromach, the bug boo. Uh, their last order was to hold position, so they're going to hold position. All right. Ava. Um, let's see. I am going to step into the room. Just a couple of steps. Uh, let me look at my cantrips. Hmm. I feel like this guy will have cover for me and this guy won't. So I'm gonna, well, let me double check. Oh no, they, it's the same. I can target whoever the heck I want and Aldrin <laughs> will go before helping. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and yeah, okay. I'm gonna target the one just south of Helby with a sacred flame. So I need a dex save from your skeleton. Good night. Okay, that is a, that is a fail. <laughs> <laughs> a two and a one takes three radiant damage. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, Whoa, what did I do there? Okay, sorry. I pulled, okay. pulled up the... I'm gonna <clears> use my <throat> bonus action to summon a sword, a spiritual weapon, uh, right next to Helby. To um, her... Actually, uh, to her uh, to stage left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is immediately going to take a swing at the zombie that is... Uh, North of it, I think. There's a zombie right. there, yes. Or yeah, yeah. skeleton, whatever. It's nine. Nine force damage, okay. And then a strong hit. I'm going to use the rest of my movement to back up. Good luck, friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Vossi. Vossi is going to move here and she's going to bite the skeleton in front of her. Alrighty. Um, just a miss. Just a miss. Okay. <laughs> it, it just jumps. It jumps as, as Vossi like, bites. <laughs> Startling, surprising display of dexterity. It jumps like three feet in the air, clear. Okay. Right, that's it's it's time. the skeleton of a of a high jumper. Oh, of course. Goodness. Chilton athlete. <laughs> yeah. Aldrich. Um, I'll just uh, walk over here and try and put the face on the statue. Okay. Um, yeah. You you spend a moment trying to balance the uh, skull on top of the headless statue. There's not really like a good flat surface like the head that had broken off of the bronze the bronze head that had broken off of like the neck's kind of broken at, at an angle so uh oh. you spend a few awkward moments like trying to balance the skull on top of it keeps rolling down yeah. towards you um okay um can i can i move the statue like can i move any parts of it or anything yeah this guy gets an opportunity to attack by the way oh okay if he wanted to take it he crits wow. for, for eight. <laughs> eight. Okay. And uh, is immediately takes... destroyed. <laughs> he regrets that the rest of his bony undeath. As he swings at me, just like an icy beak comes out of my back because I just like walk away from him and just catch him in the eyes. Yeah, he's like um, leering bonally as he's like, this is the best swing of my life. Even my whole fleshy life when I had muscles, I never swung a short sword this good. That was the perfect swing. And then like, yeah, by an icy beak is, is just like broken apart. Um, can I like 
if I can I do anything with these statues? Do their arms move or the? Can I turn their heads or anything like that? Is it just a? You, you spend a few moments kind of poking at them after you either put the skull down or, or stop trying to balance it um, and poke at the statues. They seem to be like um, almost cast out of one piece of, of bronze. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna give you one more like thing that you can do, one more attempt. You got you know out, I... of your, out of your six seconds, you got a little bit of time left. Can I just Eldritch Blast this big crystal in the middle? <laughs> uh, shield. The shield? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can attempt, so yeah. Right. Oh, I'm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Eldritch Blast it, and then I'm gonna move back to where I was behind this pillar. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. That that hits it. It's. And you seem to damage it, like, um, yeah, it's it's starting to shimmer again. It's like gathering energy all over its surface again. Um, hmm. But your force damage does seem to uh, to damage it. Okay, well, let's do it again. <laughs> and then uh, I'll do another one of those. And then okay, you hit it. It explodes um, in a. Of, uh, oh, there you go. In a shower of uh, brass fragments that are like glowing, um, very brightly gold with energy, uh, as they start their arc through the air, and then by the time they hit the ground, all of the brass shards are just like mundane. They're still like a little bit warm, but um, the shield is destroyed. Well, that's one way to disarm a <laughs> trap. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Are the sh oh, okay. Maybe the shards on the ground will go into these things. I don't know. I'm gonna get behind here. That's the end of my turn. Healthy. Just in case I did a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Soft locked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shoot an arrow at the skeleton in front of me. Okay, with with disadvantage. Um, 18 still hits. Um, in front of you, in which direction? Down or that one? Okay. Okay, you. Um, it, it's like all up in your business. It's trying to stab you like while you're um, notching an arrow, and uh, like it severely disrupts your normal like aiming precision. But it's it's very close to you. You just. Uh, Stick it a good one in the ribs and down it goes. Nice. And Vossi can take her attack against the other one. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So she's going to bite it. All right. Okay. She pulls its kneecap off and then <laughs> pulls the other one off. And then it's, uh, <laughs> it's like legs, the two top and bottom of its legs fall apart. And it's like trying to grab at her, like after it drops onto its pelvis, it's trying to grab up at her. For a few moments until like the news that it's um, now destroyed catches up to the rest of its skeletal form <laughs> and, it, and it falls apart nice um and then i will use my movement to come back uh, over this way so as you're doing so um more skeletons clamber from the cauldrons i thought just they might. Just having been assembled, um, and whoops, I missed some. I put him there. There's so many skeletons now. I, I mean, if we think about it, really, we're just creating more resources for Ava to raise. It's fun. Ava's <laughs> <laughs> room of death. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. So three attacks on Graeme, three attacks on Aldrich. Graeme first. I'll use my reaction to half damage on the first one that hits. Okay. So take four. 
Uh, 17, 4, 3. And then a miss. Aldrig. 16 for 6. Got it. Um, armor bag is this. It takes 20. <laughs> and it's immediately destroyed. Uh, and that's... then a miss. And then a uh, hit for another 5. Right, uh, armor bag this isn't on anymore, so I just take the 5 damage. Okay. Grainy. Well. Do I spy a way to destroy a cauldron that is in front of me? Um, yeah, make a make an investigation check. You might um, smash it, hit well, it. <laughs> I shall hit it using a magical sword because I can now. Okay. Uh, I, I don't assume that sneak attack actually applies, but you know. Um, your hit is not a uh, solid enough connection to uh, adequately damage this thing in a lasting way. All right. Well, I will disengage and fucking run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our zombie boys. No action, because I have not ordered them. Ava. I will move forward so I can see what is going on. Um, I am going to order. I'm going to have my sword with my bonus action. Try to smash the cauldron it's next to. Okay. 17. That um, is a solid enough connection to do some damage. Nine force damage. All right. Okay. And it looks like it does some damage. Yes. Um. Let's see. How far have I moved? Because I've got. All right. I've moved fifteen feet. I can't really get into a good. Hmm. Yeah, they're too far apart. I wanted to just like shatter the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not a thing I can do. <laughs> Um, however, I can, let's see. I do have shatter. I could shatter some things. And creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal have disadvantage on the saving throw. So that could be good. How far does it go? The range is 60 feet, and then it's a 10-foot radius sphere, so it does go 20 feet. So I can get two of these cauldrons. And Vossi. Oh, no. <laughs> and she's a construct uh, as well, so she'll take what? damage. You know what? I am going to, because, um, Helby, I shout to Helby, get Vossi out of there. And then I'm going to uh, ready an action to cast Thunder Wave. No, uh, Shatter on this point here. So mm -hmm. I need Vossi okay. 10 feet away from here. Once Vossi's out of range, I will cast the spell. Okay. So you start uh, concentrating on it. Um, your detect magic goes down, I guess. Um... Vossi. I'll just move Vossi, get her stuck on the pillar. Uh, to there. Did you disengage? Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, then that will trigger my shatter. <laughs> so, um... Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on a point must make a constitution saving throw, so I need saving throws from your skeletons. Yeah. So you're reaching... Yeah, it's going it's to get everything. So the cauldrons are both going to fail. Um, cool. Skeletons clockwise from the top left. 20, 13, and uh, 6. Okay, so the 20 succeeds, the rest fail, 
Um, you're going to take either full damage or half damage. That was not as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you hit five targets. Yeah. I just thought it was going to do more damage. <laughs> Turn the pillar. <laughs> All right. Uh, Aldrich Murr. Okay. Um, I'm going to bow before this statue. In fact, I'm going to cast armor back at this. Um... First, I am at ninth level again, uh, and uh, just get me them temporary hit points back. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna awkwardly be like, "Excuse me, excuse me." Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll I'll try bowing before this statue just because Eva said earlier. Um, okay. <laughs> I like the idea of, I like the mental image of, like, an unconvinced Aldrig being like, this is dumb, um, yeah. and, like, <laughs> half-assed bow before this thing. Um, <clears throat> for some reason I picture he bows a little bit like, um, Jack Sparrow. Yeah, with, like, a little flourish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, great, wise statue, and then, like, totally unconvinced bow. <laughs> like on my knees and kind of like head to the ground and face to the ground this uh leering skeleton that was like winding up to try to stab you again with its short sword like watches you do this and then slowly lowers the sword and like a tired old man getting into a bath at the end of a long day <laughs> he uh steps back into the cauldron and like slowly dissolves like all of the um connection between his bones melts away um and you can see like that i think the last thing you see is like his uh his skull like bobbing on top of this like uh dark ichor liquid um and then like sinks back gives a um, thumbs up as the arm goes down <laughs> <laughs> not everything has to be terminated <laughs> it doesn't have to be but <laughs> um and yeah one by one they they each get back in their bath and uh and submerge all right then well that was certainly an encounter but, uh, it was. Kind of still, like, face down, bowing on the ground, and I just, like, look up with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> Aldrig, I think you can get up now. Okay. We get up and, uh, press the digitation, any dirt off me. <laughs> can I just tell you, by the way, um, that shield was, um... I won't tell you that actually. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, top, oh, top, top, top secret information. Uh, I'm. I wonder. It was a magical item. We could have taken it, attuned with it, and then disintegration blasted people with it. And I'm yeah. sad. <laughs> <laughs> what have been cool? But... It would be cool. Cause I use a shield. Why do I never get anything cool? <laughs> Because we're well, in TOA, the there there. is nothing cool. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the next step if this didn't work was I was just going to start blasting the cauldrons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's attacking me. Blast it. Just break everything. <laughs> um, I'm going to move forward and inspect the sarcophagus. Okay. Can I make like a perception check on it? Um, yeah, yeah, go for it. What what are you looking for? Like, what are you checking for? Like, um, is it locked? Does it look trapped? Uh, is there any cool? Because it's laden with treasure. Is there any cool treasure around it that seems interesting? Because we're laden with coins. That's not interesting. But like, intriguing so, looking items or something. I guess. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Why? There's treasure all over it. 
on the top. So, you know, it doesn't take much of a success to, to see that. It's just like covered in treasure. I'm going to spend 10 minutes to cast Tech Magic. See y'all in 10 minutes. <laughs> I think I will walk over and like pick up a coin or something and just look at it. Can we have a short rest? Well, safe in here now. Sure, we can. I'm chanting. Well. <laughs> Eat us, mort us. <laughs> uh, would you like to me to look at your back again, Aldrich? I'm just gonna have a. I'm just gonna sit and have a short rest. What does having a look at my back do? Uh, it's if you if you spend hit dice, it's gonna give you more more HP, pretty much. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess if we are taking a short rest, which it looks like we are, then I shall use bone setting on myself, Aldrich, and if Helby allows on Helby. Yes, please. Okay. Do we all want to get a short rest and then do the uh, do the detect magics? Um, I will do detect magic while you're resting, and then I will take a short rest, and then y'all can stand around for 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> fine. Just in case there's anything to attune with. That way we can, I can use the short rest to attune with stuff. What the hell? <laughs> That's a lot of fives. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. And so what do I do? Add, I add... You add plus three on top of everything. If you get a one, you may reroll once. Okay, so... I'll do. So, uh, like the coin or whatever look um any anything interesting on it like i don't know uh no there's um I'll, i can i can give you a tot up of, of treasure if you want to loot but the uh coin itself just a normal coin okay so it's not like can be exchanged for goods and services <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's let's do a little loot then. Sure, let's do a little loot. I don't have any weight left on me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I will drop money if there's interesting magical items. So it's not like we're gonna find a vendor here in the tomb. Uh, so once your detect magic comes up, Ava, you mm -hmm. detect something enchanted inside the sarcophagus. Okay. You don't detect any magic. Um, on the sarcophagus itself. Um, okay. On top of the sarcophagus, Grammy, you uh, find a load of gold shit. I don't even know what a talk <laughs> is, but you find one. It's, a, it's like a hat. Um, <laughs> really? It's yeah. a hat? Wow, well, it's, okay. It's like, um, like what is it? It's like, um, it's not like a hat hat. It's like, it's something that goes on your head though. Oh, it's like a hat, head bracelet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will like pick up That's cool. a cloak okay. pin and like put it on my cloak and then just nice. <laughs> just oh, like turn to Helby and just how does it look? It looks gorgeous. Suits you. Okay. Oh, I think I always assumed they went on your head, but they go around your neck. I mean, you can I put it around to... your head if you want. I used to play a mud and it would take the head slot. In the oh. mud, so I assumed it was a hat thing. <laughs> anyway, um, I think we also see Ava just like 
you know how you clear a table by just like knocking everything off she does that with all the gold shit so she can open up the top of the sarcophagus <laughs> she just <laughs> knocks everything off the top of it <laughs> Hmm. Uh, what kind of enchantment is coming from inside the sarcophagus? Oof. Um, let me pull up Sorry. the... Uh, <laughs> the I had a thing for schools of magic. Let me try and figure out what it might be. Um... Also, What's like, the... while you're searching, I will just, like, walk over to Helpy and, like, put a pin on her. Be like... Yeah, it looks great. Thanks. Hmm. I might take one of these gold cups. They look nice. Oh, I think it would be either be... Um, sorry, Snow. I think it would be transmutation. Most likely, maybe abjuration. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, I want to open the sarcophagus and take out the magical item. Okay, so what you're seeing, what's em what's um, emitting this magical energy is um, some kind of amulet. Um, and as you touch it, mm -hmm. strange shadows shift across the walls, forming the outline of a long-legged bird. Its beak stabs at you as a voice echoes through your mind. You will do as I command! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that your reaction? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see if something else happens. <laughs> like, do I take um, damage? Do I make a, a charisma, charisma saving throw, please. Okay. Now, um, you can choose to fail if you want. Um, essentially, you like see this spirit uh, coming towards you. Um, why would I choose to fail? I shall tell you no more. <laughs> what do you why do? Why would you tell me that I can choose to fail? <laughs> well, just a comment, you know. Just, uh... <laughs> No, no. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 24. Okay. <laughs> Cast you! Let me in! Let me in! How about we have a civil conversation? I say to like nothing. Like, I don't know yeah, why y'all you... would think I say that. I but... just like, <laughs> I just turn. We're all kind of side eyeing each other, sort of like, who's she talking to? <laughs> <laughs> and as you say that, um, Ava, this the spirit like you feel it try to possess you, um, and you resist it. It uh, falls back, um, realizing that it's uh, you aren't the um, sap that it thought you to be, um, and you have quite strong resistance, um, strong willpower to um, fight against its presence. Uh, it retreats back into the amulet. Hmm. Don't touch the amulet. There's a spirit in there that tried to possess me. You you do notice, Ava, because your detect magic is still up, that um, the emittance of this magical effect, this magical energy from the amulet, didn't stop while the spirit was outside it trying to possess you. It's not so like it's, it switched it's off. It's probably cursed with the spirit. Uh, I could probably banish the spirit out of there. Eh... Maybe we'll find out. Either way, I'm still gonna. So what you with it. what you noticed didn't <laughs> what you noticed didn't happen was the spirit like came out, tried to possess you, and then you're holding a man mundane amulet. It was still emanating magical energy gotcha. while the spirit was trying to possess you. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna hold on to it because it probably will not be able to possess me for at least 24 hours. <laughs> so. <laughs> have you got? I, have you got identified? Like, do we know what? Uh, I can like, just attune with it over my short rest, <laughs> and I can find out what it does. Okay. I don't want anyone else to touch it, because then okay. it could try to possess one of you, and I don't know how all your Christmas saves are. Um, not very charismatic. So. <laughs> no, me neither. 
I've got so you're, 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 you're attuning to it, uh, Ava, during your... Yeah, why not? <laughs> Good call. It is an amulet of health. Ooh. You feel invigorated. You might want to put that on. Um, you're, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, you're now attuned to it. Your constitution score is set to 19, unless it was already higher. Uh, no, my constitution's 14. Ooh. All right. So, uh, that so would be, could yeah. you please uh, make a note of what yeah. your HP was before, somewhere on your character sheet, sure. and then so you I'm get your go. your retroactive. You get quite a probably quite a big HP boost mm -hmm. from this. Yeah, you get. So my con like is originally 14. My HP is originally move this amulet 59. Oops, 59. Okay, made a note on my bio and info. So then, yeah, it would be two times eight, right? Because it would yes. be two times my level. So yeah, an extra 16 HP. There you go. Nice. Um, can you drag the Amulet of Health onto my sheet? Because then it might just automatically bump my con. I don't want to have to change it. Oh yeah, I think I can actually. They're, um... That's a rarity because most magic items are in the DMG, which for some reason is not in Roll20 at all. Oh, weird. Okay, will, will that work? Okay, I don't know if that might, automatically... Might updated, it did! But... Yeah, it hey. didn't do my HP, I have to do that manually, but it updated. Up yeah, there you <laughs> it go, that's my cool. Con. It updated. <laughs> nice. It updated. Cool, okay. All right. 75 HP, I'm a tank. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I was just complaining about how I never get cool things. Um, also, what's the deal with the ghost inside? Can I figure that out on attuning to it? Um, it is a spirit, an extremely powerful spirit. Um, like as in like beyond, like a what? Like a vodka or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. that clear. It's the spirit of Smirnoff tried to, <laughs> and that's why you've got so much con. That's why it couldn't get to you. Um, yeah, it um, is a spirit with the power level of a god. Hmm. I think and you should. And you said it was a too. bird. Yes, a long-legged bird. Just for um... the shits and gigs. During my short rest, I think I try to, like, talk to the bird. It probably won't, won't talk back, but I try to reach out to it to make nice. Um, or at least see what's going on with it. It no longer um, responds. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't... It essentially appears to have made its um, attempt. Um, and its power is kind of knocked back from failing at that. Yeah, it's sulking. <laughs> <laughs> but I think during the rest, uh, the rest of the crew sees Ava like studying this amulet, and then towards the end of the rest, she probably is like running her fingers over like the surface of it and saying, "But what's your name? Why are you in there?" And no response. Yeah. And she she just keeps trying. So, what's inside that amulet again? Some sort of very powerful spirit. Perhaps even a god. Hey, hold on. Long-legged bird. Long-legged bird. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, I was up, hold about up, hold up. to do that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it sounds like you're making an IRL uh, investigation check. <laughs> um, do I... Can I remember any of the puzzle cubes that had a long-legged bird on them? Um, if you as a player can, then Ava oh, can, Capazotl. otherwise you can... Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> and then, I, like, we just see Ava doing that and running her fingers over, what's your name? And then something clicks in her head and her eyes go wide. And she looks at Grammy and she says, I think Papa Zottle's trapped in here. Now, that is, uh, 
How does that revelation? It's a bird, a long-legged bird, bird spirit, powerful enough to be a god. And we know that whoever built this tomb did something to them. It's believed that they were destroyed, but perhaps they were merely imprisoned. So it would be a tomb for the gods? I suppose. Strange. The... It is still in there, and I certainly don't want to banish it now. But... I must warn you. The following day, I believe it will make another attempt. And I am tempted to let it. I think you should. Um, There's nothing wrong with birds. And then I like <laughs> stroke Beatrice on the head. Um, <laughs> well, if I, Beatrice if pecks I you. say, <laughs> uh, I really don't want to fight you. I certainly don't want to fight you. But, perhaps this is a way that one can reason with Papa Zotl. Get them on our side. Hmm. Well, um... This may be the only way we can speak to them. I've been trying to reach out, and there's nothing there now. Either way, we have a full day before I have to worry about that. And I think Ava stands up and like brushes off her pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, no trace of that man in the mask, I suppose. Doesn't Where seem like could it. he have gone? I don't know, but if the gods are trapped here, perhaps we should go up a level and explore more thoroughly. So, do you think there is going to be like uh, another, well, resting place for a god on the level above? I believe. It seems that there are three floors. Perhaps there are more, but there are at least three floors. There are nine gods. We may find three per, the, per floor. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a good plan, then. Also, hold up, hold up. Da -da -da. Only a jewel can tame the frog. Bow as the dead god intoned into darkness descend. I'm trying to see uh, if there's an indication of how many rooms are going to be on each floor based on the warnings. <laughs> <laughs> because we did bow as the dead god intoned. We can cross that out. Complete. Quest done. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, the Dead of War Sunlight could be a reference to this room. Like, maybe we were supposed to do something with the sun, or maybe that'll be later. Uh, the ring is a path to another tomb. I don't know what that means. Only a jewel can tame the frog. And then into darkness descend. I don't know what those mean. So we could either continue exploring this level, or we could head up back up to the first level. It's up to you guys. I think we should go back up to the first. Yeah. I guess, like, let's just start from the top. Just so we don't forget a place. Also, if we if we look at the order of the Puzzle Cube handouts, Pop Level <laughs> is six on the list. So that's another <laughs> thing we can make. And it's um, the third room we could get to on this level. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, the meta is strong in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I play a lot of puzzle games, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> you take 344 meta damage. That's, that's, that's player damage, not no character damage. <laughs> wow, Ow, pun <that> damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna head back up. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to my spell slots. I really want to bring Malesh back. I miss him already. But I don't want to waste the spell slots right now. Also, also, Estania, I'm just gonna say this is alphabetical as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. But it's also still the sixth one down on the list. That could mean something. Okay. <laughs> it could. All right. <laughs> hmm. uh, I yeah, guess so like I'm in, the, start... in the ten <laughs> minutes that you talk, I will just like push on the handle of the card just to turn it and then turn it back <laughs> okay <laughs> did anyone take the torque sorry did anyone take the torque no i've got my helmet on still <laughs> we should yeah. put the torque on bossy <laughs> i think i think what we decided on definitely is like i'm taking a pin and I think I put one on healthy. Yeah, and I took a gold cup. So um, we still have... I also want a cup, because I don't have a cup. So I'm going to have a gold cup. I will hold a cup towards Aldrich. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I will throw a cup at Aldrich. <laughs> <laughs> it I'm takes take... 20 take... ice damage. <laughs> I want to take two pins because I want to give one to Yenna when I see her. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And if no one's going to take the torque, then I'll take it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'll just have it and then we can either sell it when we get back to town or. I say get back to town like that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's what Ava's thinking. She's like, you know what? Why let good treasure go to waste? Right. I just I just don't like carrying things. <laughs> if you could okay. see what I'm, if you could see what Aldrig's inventory is, it's literally like a letter opener and an arcane focus. <laughs> um, I need to check something, which is not important. I just want to know. <laughs> well, you need oh that lasts just as long as floating disc. Just floating disc whenever uh, I ritual and then throw everything on there. <laughs> um, well, Ava, can you raise some of these? I just gesture at the floor. Uh, didn't they all crawl back into the... No, no. Um, some of them that you didn't kill crawled back into the bone okay. soup, but the ones that you killed, there's, there's uh, bones everywhere on the floor. I have exhausted those powers at the moment. If you recall, I raised quite a few before we came in here, and then I also uncursed your sword. Hmm. I right. could get one back, but I feel like those abilities would serve me better elsewhere. And we still have Gromek and Vabugbu. Hmm. So... Upstairs, then. Yep, yeah, let's go. Upstairs, let's go. Alright. Uh, yeah. That will I just meet noticed, back like, up. um, yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna put my token up there. Um, I just noticed, uh, do we have any light sources, or are we all just, like, in dark vision I have, territory? I have dark vision. <laughs> I mean, you all have dark vision, and, um, so far, I'm assuming that nobody's struck a light, so it's, like, almost totally dark in here. Yeah, I'm just saying <laughs> that technically would still get us this advantage because lightly obscured or whatever. 
Okay. That's why um, I'm like. No, actually, because uh, I do. I just do this. Yeah, Elder can Hooray! just radiate light. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From solved. All right. Um, on to the it. first layer, first level. I cast it on my uh, arcane focus. So I've just got a glowing medallion. I draw hairs on my chest, and I draw a, a pontash on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, I think as we step up, uh, Ava will point behind to the like part of the wraparound walkway that's behind Aldrig and say, "Remember, don't go there. There was a big old fan that tried to suck you into its ra- into its blade. So, again, be cautious." Right. Um, and I will go to this corner here and just again here in there. Give me one second, Aldrig. I don't mean to put a zombie on you. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Gromic just steps on your face a little. It's fine. <laughs> All right. He takes 20 cold <laughs> And I will, I will like move forward slowly, uh, watching out for traps or anything. Okay. Anything. Yeah, make a perception check. Why am I in front? God damn it. I just, I just realized what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just make so, Grammy, um, as you advance carefully and slowly, you um, look around on the walls, on the floor, on the ceiling. Um, there are no giant spiders on the ceiling waiting to descend on you. Um, oh, and so you. That's a thing. <laughs> feel, you feel fairly confident that there aren't any traps um, in the hallway. Um, at the end of the hallway, uh, you see a rusting statue of a knight um, standing at the west end of this hall, gripping a large iron shield. Shards and flakes of rusted metal cover the floor around the statue's feet. I would just like to say that me and my zombies are all taking the dodge action as we are advancing. <laughs> This is really weird. I've just had an image of like y- you, you and the zombies are just like soul train dancing down this corridor. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Step. Okay, as you reach there, uh, Grammy, um, make an athletics check. <laughs> athletics. That is unexpected. Are you sure about that? Okay. Oh, Grammy. <laughs> so you lose your footing and fly across the room, slamming against the statue, which you now notice, you know, as you are drawn through the air, um, is a powerful magnet. Um, so uh, anything magical you're carrying, your sword, your dagger, um, is being drawn at an incredible force towards this thing. Um, um, you're gonna take some bludgeoning damage. I, I, I kind of don't want to say it, but like, uh, I feel like glass on me could shatter from this. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> it could, okay. but it doesn't. <laughs> um, so... Let's see... Now, metal is uh, now. What are you? What are you holding at the moment, Grammy? What do you walk around with? What's your normal? You you wear non-metal armor, right? I wear non-metal armor. What is metallic on me is my ma- magic sword in my hand, probably. Um, another sword, a dagger. I guess like bolt heads, ball bearings. What, whatever's in your backpack is is okay. Um, I think then you are essentially being like pulled by your sword. However, because this is magical, um, when it strikes the statue, it like pings off. You're able to wrench it away. Um, it's not destroyed. Uh, but your um, cloak buckle thing, the met- the gold thing that you- the pin, um, like shatters, and there's some like gold dust on the ground. Oh, dang. 
Um, don't step into the room. Okay. Um, what happened, Grainy? It just pulled me. Um, the pin is gone. Um, it, I will just like get my sword and see if it's still actually pulling. Is it still pulling on me? Yes. Um, so you're you you have to act quick. Um, you, you know you can't you can't essentially keep standing there, or otherwise it'll keep dragging you towards it. Uh, oh God. Okay. Well, I think I will um, just try to move away, but as I do so, like a quiet prayer to God, and in and mechanically I will cast guidance. Okay. Cool. Cool. What what would that sound like? What sort of uh, would we hear anything that uh, the Grammy would say in your prayer? Um. Does anyone here speak Celestial? Yeah. Okay, so you hear just like... Oh, please go on, for fuck's sake, I need help! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ald Aldrich would just let out a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you want to move away, um, then you need to make another athletics check. Mm -hmm. um, so technically, it would question. be next... Well, actually, because can can I send a zombie in to help as well? Yeah, yeah. Because they don't have any metal on them, so they should be unaffected by the magnet. I think it's pulling oh, yeah, metal. Skeletons that have short swords, right? They just they just slam. So yeah. I mean, well, a zombie. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, zombies just have a slams. So they just use their body. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think I send Vabugboo in to help you. I don't think he can reach you. No. Uh, he'll dash to you, and then just get ready to help if you need it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, without advantage yet, um, a 10 is, is just enough. Is exactly what you needed. So which uh, direction are you trying to move? We see we see Graeme, like wrestling with this sword, like kind of trying to wrench it against this powerful force that's, that's pulling it in. Um... Oh god, okay. Sure, I will, I will like move into here, try to find a hold. Okay. I'm, I'm yeah, as, as soon as you kind of <laughs> as soon as you get out of the um direct line of the uh of the statue, um you're relieved to find that you're no longer being tugged well, like once you're out of the room. Okay, it it only pulls on on you in the room. And I like look look around, just wary of traps again. Yeah, make a make a perception check. Uh, without okay. guidance, I guess. Grammy, um, this is a suspicious corridor. At the first glance, to the layman, to the untrained eye, it would appear to have no purpose whatsoever. It's a corridor that leads nowhere. However, with your um, trained eye, I guess, the opposite of an untrained eye, uh, you notice two secret doors. They're, there's just a falsity all around in this corridor. It's a corridor of lies. <laughs> So you just, you know, notice a slight seam in what would in, uh, initially appear to just be like a solid block of stone um, and a little kind of area where you might like press on what l would look to be like a rock, but, you know, you could push it down and and uh, the wall might move. There's secret doors in here. I think it's a bad idea for me to open them, isn't it? Not without us nearby. Uh, 
Uh, just, just, just a little further into the corridor. Give me a moment. I'm going to use the bugboo and Gromuk to help us get there. They seem unaffected just, by whatever's going on with that statue. Just protect the metal stuff. So my plan is to have Gromak move here and the Bugboo stand here. And the idea is that they are going to assist anyone who have to make <laughs> athletic checks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think Halby's going to put her pin in her in her bag. Okay. So it doesn't pull out. I think the only other metal thing she'd have would be her arrows. But she has got a dagger as well. I think your helmet has some metal. Oh, my helmet. I keep forgetting about that helmet. Oh. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of metal, so I just have to make it safe. <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. I, I, wait. I don't... Necklace of adaptation would be something that I also have that's metallic. It is magical, or, though. So... Also magical. Yeah. Okay. Good. I just really um... don't want my shield to uh, break. Can I just... I only have a small knife that's made of metal. Can I just drop it on the floor and walk in the room? <laughs> sure, you put it course. in your bag. Apparently stuff in your bag is unaffected. Yeah. I don't have a bag. I'll just drop it on the floor. <laughs> okay. So do you think it would be better for me to take the helmet off and put it in my bag? I mean, you may as well. Yeah. If, I've got if you're not your... using it, you don't need to yeah. have it on. Okay, I'll do yeah. that as well. So the only thing I should have on me is my out of my bag is my arrows. Okay. Okay. And uh, Gromek and Vabugboo are they stand ready to <laughs> uh, help on any athletics checks. <laughs> so they're gonna hold your hand and walk you down the corridor, <laughs> escort you. Okay. I'm gonna move forward then. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. So you will need to make an athletics check. So anything that's on your person, so your helmet and other things, are pulled towards the statue, um, okay. even if they're in your bag. Um, okay. And Gromok assists you and tries to hold you steady as you try to make your way through the room. So an athletics check, please, with advantage. All right, no problemo. So, with your zombie, which are you going to to the side the Graham is on, or...? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I will. So in tandem with your zombie escorts, walking arm in arm, <laughs> um, being tugged, like there's this, like, bulge from your backpack that's, like, pushing towards the statue, um, but you, between you, manage to hold, it, hold off against it, and you make it. Okay. And Vossi should be fine, shouldn't she, or...? She has no metal. Yeah, unless she's got some metallic exoskeleton, she will be okay. <laughs> Maybe she's she got has some like gold teeth or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, Vossi just like trots along, yeah. Cool. Uh, Gromit gets back in position, and now it's Ava's turn. Uh, Alright. So, um, I'll let you know this before you get into the room. Um, mm -hmm you will be particularly affected by this if you're wearing metal armor. Yeah, I know. I, will... I'm not taking it off. <laughs> okay, so this will cancel the effect of, of Gromuk. Those two things will, will balance out. And I figured. Straight, straight That's roll. fine. All right. Well, uh, does anyone have inspiration? No. Sure. You know what? But it's, it would, it's it not going to change That's anything. Right, I, can't, I can't get advantage. One, I have disadvantage. You're right. Never mind. Sixteen. Good. Thank heavens for that. I really didn't want to destroy your shield and your armor or whatever else. Sword. Yeah, me neither. Thanks. I mean, I think technically I'm carrying around a second set of dwarven breastplate <laughs> that okay. I I looted off of. Um, what was his name? Oh, the... yeah, the guy in the with the dragon. The, the kobold. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vass. I have that in my Vass, Yeah, I have. I took his breastplate and I just shoved it in my pack. <laughs> So, uh, Aldrig, with your keen eyes, you notice that the corridor is now full of humanoids and velociraptors. <laughs> what? Actually, you could um, double up um, Helby and Vossi. You can yep. stand in the same square. Technically, okay. Helby is small. I, I prefer not to make your token small because you'd 
um, wouldn't be as well seen. But okay. but yeah, you could uh, stand side by side. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Are you uh, carrying no metal? I am carrying no metal. Nice. Oh my god. The gold uh... cup, did you take it? No, he didn't. No. Okay. He doesn't care. <laughs> like... <laughs> Have you got any coins on you? Uh... I have nine gold and thirty-three silver or something. I oh, know thirty-three platinum. Whoa! Your coin purse is dragged <laughs> towards the uh, statue. <laughs> oh. So, um, athletics check with advantage. Can I just, if I feel it being dragged towards the statue, just like untie it and let it go? Yeah, you can leave it in the hallway if you want. I mean, like if I'm or, here or already. It. Can I just let it be dragged towards the statue? Is it this statue? So this is happening when you're here, when you enter the room. Okay. I'll just... Yeah. Can I... Like, it's on my hip. Can I just untie it? And just yeah, it yeah, go? yeah. Totally, yeah. <laughs> okay. If that's the only metal thing you're carrying. So your your coin purse um, thwacks, slaps against the statue and sticks there. Yeah. If and there's any... If there's move. any, like, um, metal on the crossbow as well, then, yeah, I'll just, I'll just like... Let the crossbow go free. Go free, fly, my little friend. Your your crossbow is fine. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so what, you now have this? zero zero coins, Aldrig. Uh, to the north, um, a large fountain crusted with moss rises in the middle of a circular room. Three marble maidens stand in the fountain, holding pitchers out of which water flows. Um, on that mysterious moment, perhaps let's take our break there. Yeah. All right. That sounds like an awesome moment to take a break. We'll be back in five, about five to seven, I guess. And, uh, well, grab yourself some tea, coffee, whatever you want. We will be back in just... There is the right screen. In just a moment. <laughs>
Welcome back from break. All right. Hey, everyone. Hi. How are we doing? Is everyone well, back? Dead. Yeah. Also. Oh. Uh, that's we honestly rare. <laughs> <laughs> we speed run our break. I didn't have much to do during this break. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Should we should we dive right back in? Maximize our DD playtime. It yeah. feels yeah, like a very maximizy day, doesn't it? Alright. Let's do it. Derek, the stage is yours. What do you do? <laughs> um, so uh, Aldrig laid eyes on this mysterious fountain. Um, the rest of you are packed in this corridor in which Graeme has detected two secret doors. Well, um, I will open the door to myself then. However, that mechanism works. <laughs> yeah, there's like um, it kind of looks a little bit like a rock wall, but one of the rocks is is fake and can be pressed in. And when you do that, um, the whole wall like slides sideways into like a gap on one side, moving out of the way. There's a throne right in front of you with uh, something in it. Um, and the rest of what you see can be described thusly. Uh, the vault, This vaulted tomb is overgrown with moss and creepers. A stone sarcophagus rests on a stepped dais in the middle of the floor. On the wall behind the sarcoph sarcophagus, two large statues of bears grip a five-foot diameter bronze disc embossed with a dozen glaring eyes. Six desiccated corpses, corpses <laughs> slump on thrones in niches along the walls. That's one of those is right in front of you. Um, each corpse wears a black mask made of papier mache and feathers. An arched crystal window to the east offers a view of the tunnel beyond. Don't the mask will be seen. Mm -hmm. Can you, um, like... Is anything magical? Can you remove the door, or is that another one of those roll twenty oh. things that just doesn't fucking? Probably. Let me let me have a look. I can. Yes, yes. I think I can. Please, please, Dirk, don't delete the whole dynamic <laughs> lighting for the whole map. It's my biggest fear. There we Yay. go. Oh, the fact that it has a token worries me. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Guess I will look over its shoulder and just look closely at what's in front of me. Uh. Your mind casts itself back to 10 seconds ago when I described yes. the room to you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> do I see any magical auras within range? Um, so the, the sarcophagus is just out of range. Um, I think probably the mask would have some god knows what, but probably some kind of uh, some kind of magical enchantment. Okay, the one, yeah, right in front of you. So, did you say there's another door like to the side of where Helby is? Yep. Is that what that is? Yeah, the S is a secret door that's that's been discovered by Grammy. Would you care to open it? I think I might, you know. Okay. So yeah, there's a moment where Grammy um points out where the where the fake rock is that you need to press. Ooh, are those stairs going down? Those stairs going down, Derek? Yep, yep, staircase, yep. yeah. <laughs> Do you think we should investigate down here first before we go? Don't the mask be seen. I think we need to get the mask. It definitely seems that way. 
I'm I'm like blanking out on where the mask was in the room. There's Hold six on. of them. Each of the corpses. The, there's okay. six thrones. You're like right behind. It's kind of awkward. You're right behind the throne of uh, that some corpses slumped in right in front of you, okay. which is wearing a mask. But all okay. of the others say say um, where you are, Grammy. This one you can also see is is a desiccated corpse in a throne wearing a mask. Right. Thank you That's for cool. being patient no with me. No, no, it's okay. It's, 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 it's cool. hard to understand uh, just a description when you don't have the visual to go along with it sometimes, I think. Yeah. Um, Helby, I would like to get a little bit closer so I can at least see if there's an enchantment on the sarcophagus in the middle. Do you mind uh, squeezing? I think, uh, well, the staircase? This is, I think while this is happening, I will just like take my hand around the corpse and try to take off its mask. Yeah. Okay. It's an unpleasant task. <laughs> um, I imagine it's quite likely that you would like touch the face um, mm -hmm. in order to get the mask off. Yeah. Probably very, very difficult to, to do it without. But you manage it. It doesn't seem to move um, or notice you. And yeah, you, you are now holding one papier mache mask. Okay, I will like take a little bit of my cloak and just <laughs> like wipe the inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is some enchantment on the mask. Um, what? I assume it'll be something that will hide us. <sighs> I suppose there is uh, not many ways to find out what it does, right? And I would just like hold it closer to my face. <laughs> I just kind of shrug. You do you, Gravy. <laughs> okay, I put a mask on. All right. Um, so I'm within range of the sarcophagus now. Okay. Um, it it has some kind of enchantment, yes. <laughs> it's mad, it's, it's, which you know is different from the previous uh, sarcophagus. I think probably abjuration. Again, sorry, it's like some things are written. What what uh, detect magic would pick up. The rest of it, it's left to me to guess what the spell is. And it's, uh, it's all often good. not in the I... slightest. It, it won't say, for example, this thing has this spell cast on it. Which even then, I could look up what the spell is. It doesn't even you say know, that. So I've got to I wonder take a punt. If... If like it's spells uh, written using like glyph of warding, if that would always be abjuration or not? I usually default towards abjuration because of that. Like yeah. if, it, if it's a magical trap, which you know sometimes you've discovered using this, I usually say abjuration. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I find I just... it quite tricky. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, step. Um, okay, it's awkward, Grammy. There's not a huge amount of room, so you can squeeze by. You can kind of clamber over fine, this, fine. this. I'm going to get into the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you clamber over this this corpse, like you maybe step on its shoulder <laughs> as you're going over, um, and you get into the room. Um, and nothing nothing terrible happens actually you are now standing in the room creamy could you go collect a mask for the rest of us just in case uh, sure and i will um while will... Grammy's doing that yep i just wanted to let you know this may help you with the tech magic uh the specific wording is you learn its school of magic if any Okay. So, oh, that's if nice. it doesn't yeah, have anything okay. written down, just don't tell me the school of magic. You say you don't detect. All right, all right. <laughs> I, you know, I, I um, always want to try and give you, like, if you do something, I don't want to um, wave it away and not give you all the full benefits of your stuff. Um, but that's good to know. So yeah, this is it's just just magical. The sarcophagus. Yeah. I just feel, figure like if it's gonna be a hardship to you or a burden, um. Just no school of magic, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that is very fair. I think that's the thing as well, you know, that you have like... Um, 
I think it says in, I don't know which book, it says somewhere like, these are the spells, but this isn't everything. Like there are other types of magic in this world. This is just a list of some stuff that you might be able to learn. Anyway, yes, all right. Uh, so what are you up to, Grammy? Um, I grab another, well, let me, <clears throat> I walk up to um, the corpse and like widen my stance mechanically taking dodge action <laughs> and okay and i t and i attempt to take another mask of another corpse it's also gross <laughs> um this one is not as desiccated as, as the other so some of the skin like moves um kind of with a wet rotten texture um yeah. as your finger brushes it to get the mask off but the corpse itself does not move and you successfully pry the mask from it all right let me know if anything um like interrupts the process otherwise i will take two more masks from this and this okay and yeah then... nothing interrupts you so you've got now three masks plus the one you're wearing and then I will walk back, squeeze by the throne again, um, give all three to Ava, and just to help me say, um, maybe leave Vossi here, just in case. Yeah, I will. Um, I will hand you a mask. Thank you. Um. I'll set one on the ground behind me for Aldrig if he wants to get in here. Um, as I do that, I'm like, for your face, you may want to cast your whatever cleanliness spell. And I just set it on the floor. And then I just kind of shake mine out, and then I put it on my face. I get bossy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some, like, hundred thousand year old hair, like, shakes out of it, Ava. <laughs> yeah. I deal with the dead all the time. I'm not that faced. <laughs> Yeah, you can't be a squeamish necromancer. Right. Um, Aldrig, you have a very nice, like, clean, fresh, scent citrus-scented mask. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I will I'll step into the room. And what's over... What's over here? Um... That is two large statues of bears, which are grasping a five-foot diameter bronze disc embossed with a dozen glaring eyes. Is the disc enchanted? It most certainly is. Uh, divination magic. Oh, perhaps that is what would see us if we weren't wearing these masks. Oh, what's over here? <gasps> oh! I know where we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she looks through there and she literally goes, oh, oh we're here then. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I like that Elvia immediately comes over like, oh, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. Me. Yeah, me, me, me. <laughs> so, Ava, um, we yes. assume that uh, whatever is in here is going to hold a god in it. Yes. Um, do you think I should uh, not try to resist if it tries to possess me? That is your choice. Hmm. Um, but before we try to open the sarcophagus, I want to get a closer look at it, just to make sure that there's nothing going to spring out at us. Would you like advantage? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, can I give you advantage, technically? I mean, uh, I, don't have per I don't have perception, so I don't that know what's the ruling. That doesn't matter. You can, take the, you can take the help action okay. regardless. Cool. So, yeah, we're, we're both going to look over the sarcophagus just to make sure we don't see anything alarming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So make a perception check with advantage. You are quite sure that um, there's not a me mechanical trap um actually in, in this in this room altogether so what i believe Grammy, is that there 
there's some sort of protective spell cast on the sarcophagus. It is possible that only those with masks can open it. It is possible that opening the sarcophagus, sarcophagus will trigger some mechanism. Some magical mechanism that I cannot stop. Well, I suppose... So we should all be prepared. And uh... by prepared, I mean let's all fucking take the dodge action. <laughs> I, I was going to say maybe it's better if, uh, you know, only one person stays in here. And like, I clearly, <sighs> like, make it very clear I... it's supposed to be me. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving because... <laughs> Has to be me, I... someone else would have got it wrong. <laughs> what I expect to happen is that these corpses will rise, and if they do, I would rather be at the epicenter of them. Alright, yeah, I'm not leaving either. I put my hands on the sarcophagus then. And we'll attempt to open it. Um, make an athletics check, Grammy. Oh, oh <laughs> fucking course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eva, so I might need help. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Snow, you're cool, like, self-sacrifice, like, I'll do it, there don't worry, those... stand back, and then your arms, like, shake. <laughs> <laughs> May I be honest? May I be honest? I was hoping this would happen. <laughs> um, Ava will step up and help lift up the sarcophagus lid. Okay, with an advantage, with advantage, whichever of you would prefer to make the roll. Um, I would like to make the roll, please. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> wow 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 okay she uh you, you kind of swaggered over ava like let me take care of this grammy stand aside and it's it's like when somebody hands you a jar and you're like hang back to it so i've got this and then you like my, my hands few... are sweaty and it's yeah like, yeah <laughs> so do we need to try again yeah right. give it another crack i think i will yeah may, oh. maybe maybe someone help you over I was gonna or say, help each other. I think uh, like healthy. I will lay. A it's hand. healthier than I thought. <laughs> you can have your badass like swagger, like pull, pull up your sleeves, and I'm like I got this. <laughs> I think I will. I will like put my hand on like Ava's. Um, I guess I mean not shoulder. I'm too short probably, but like my forearm. Yeah, your forearm, and then say something in a language you probably don't know, Celestial. Yeah, I don't speak it. I've heard it before. Uh, guidance! Thank you. So I get to roll an extra d4? Yes. yes. And I also have advantage. So, this is probably gonna be fine, but let's just see how fine it is. <laughs> 20. <laughs> Alright. So, with the power of Gond, you are finally able to um, push aside the lid of the sarcophagus. Um, you see, in, not nothing explodes or attacks you. Actually, the corpses remain um, in in their thrones, immobile. Um, you see the bones of a Zorbo inside the sarcophagus in a dusty pile, um, and on top of the pile of dust, um, there is a ring. Um, Ava, Ava, it's um, it's emanating abjuration magic. Ah, uh, which one is the Zorbo? What does it look like? The um, little, like wombat thing. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. little little tiny thing. Okay, yeah. That was uh, Wongo. Uh, no, Wongo's a Sue monster. Oh. Um, this this would be um, if you're trying to connect the shape of the bones to a yeah. one of the one of the gods from the tale. Um, it would be Obalaka. Obalaka. I so, totally remember that. Um, I don't touch the ring. I, I I point out the ring and I say, I believe that is where Obalaka may be imprisoned. And you said divination magic. Abjuration. abjuration magic. Abjuration. There's abjuration magic on that ring. Well? Uh. 
There's also the bit in the second warning saying the ring is a path to another tomb. I don't know if that's connected. I don't yes. know. It is possible. Um, well. And I will just, like, very slowly put my fingers on the ring and pick it up. Um, I think when you do that, Grammy, I would like to grapple you, just okay. to kind of like hold you <laughs> to make sure that nothing. So, will you will you submit to a grapple? <laughs> I think like at first, not, but like like the first reaction is just like fight for for life. The like, but then I realize, wait, it's Ava. <laughs> So, <laughs> strong orc mar mom arms come around you. <laughs> yeah. See, so this is what happens. Okay. Saint Beatrice, this is what happens when you put, go around putting on strange amulets and start to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> Beatrice, like, rocks. Rock! Terrible, terrible rock, but, you know, uh, in, in agreement. Yeah. Uh, Grammy, as you touch the ring, the dust swirls into the shape of a small, feral, bear-like creature that billows towards you with a ghostly roar. Um, make a charisma saving throw, please. Or, well, if you want to. I think I will let it. Okay. <laughs> so you, you hear a voice in your mind. Um, uh, uh, hello? Can, can, can I come in, please? <laughs> Do it. Yes, come in. Uh, th th thank, thank you. Uh, Just don't mess up the furniture. Nice. <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Of course. Mm. Uh, you're nice. I, uh, I'll protect you. I'm strong. But I... Grammy, are you still there? Am I still there? <laughs> yes. Um, yes, um, and you are now possessed by the spirit of Obalaka, uh, Grammy. Um, now, I'm going to show you something. Um, Where? Whoopsie, it should appear in your journal in a moment. Okay, I'm gonna switch to stats real quick. <laughs> and then put it on my other screen. Intrigue increase. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god. <laughs> Well, that changes the character. Okay. <laughs> um, let me let let's uh, let's discuss it between sessions on how you wanna how you wanna deal with that, um, mm -hmm. or we can we can DM. Let me let me send you a Discord uh, DM. Yep. Well, yes, I I am I am here. Just... Are you okay? Um. Well, I let something in. Was it Obalaka? Yes, it was. And I will just speak out loud. Are you there, Obalaka? Obalaka's typing. Um, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now I have assumed control. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'll save you. I'll protect you. Nothing will, 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 will harm you while I'm here. Please let Obalaka know that we intend to rescue all of the gods from this tomb. Can you hear from my ears? Um, if, yes, um, if that's okay. Sorry, yes. Thank you. <laughs> no, it, it is okay. Um, 
Is this how it feels to have voices in your head, Aldrich? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was talking to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be weird. Um, he's saying that he's going to protect me. Nothing's going to harm me, but I don't know what it means. Well, then let us put you in some immediate danger and we'll find out. <laughs> um, I, like, I'm just going to express an interest in this fountain. Like... Maybe, maybe you should go and touch the fountain. Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, may, may, maybe we should leave this place and uh, find we some can't. shelter. No, but I can't. But it's, it's dangerous in here. It is, but it's also important that we are here. What is some what? some some someone else could do 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 it? Save the gods. Some of them are mean anyway. There is no one else. Uh -huh. Sometimes you have to step up and do the right thing. Grammy, what it, what is it saying? Uh, it's afraid. Um. I think I still have my arms around Grammy because I was grappling her just in case something happened. And I pull back, but I kind of put my hands on Grammy's shoulders and I look into her eyes and I say, fear is not a bad thing. Fear helps us be alert, helps keep us safe. But just because we are afraid doesn't mean that we can't also be brave. We must do this. She'll, she'll be dead by tomorrow with that attitude. I just give Gravy's shoulders a squeeze. She survived. <laughs> she survived long enough with that attitude already. <laughs> I let go of your shoulders, Gravy, and um, I just kind of walk yeah. past Helby towards the exit yeah like put put just like fingers on my <laughs> like the size of my head and kind of rub my temples ah this is uh, what is the ring that you came from anyway uh, I, I was in, in prison bound to it Okay. Use it. It will help you, protect you. What, what does it do? P p protect you. Put it on. Okay. And I put on the ring. You turn invisible and ring wraiths come and try to stab you. <laughs> It's magic will take approximately one hour to kick in. <laughs> I figured. Please hold. I figured. Um, I, I normally put magic rings on my middle finger. You should put it on your middle finger. That's the right finger. Why? That's, that's what I normally do. That's... Uh, Obalak is gonna be real annoying. But like, like, <laughs> what, do, do you just want to have the finger on when you just lip off someone, or why? It's never failed before. Why change if it's never failed? Graham, Little finger, stop... that's the right finger. Can you stop talking with yourself and come along? <laughs> what? Graham, Sorry. Yes? Um, is there any reason to stay in this room? Um, do we think that the gold, the bronze disc, might be anything? I believe that the disc is similar to the shield. I suppose you could try to take it if you think that you could use it or investigate it. 
But I believe that it is the thing that would see us had we not been wearing these masks. And I think Ava takes off the paper mache mask and kind of gestures with it now that she's not in the room. Okay. I think Helvi wants to investigate. Please. Okay. Um, so it is extremely heavy. Um, over well, I think quite a bit more heavy than you, um, Helby. Okay. Um, what are you what are you looking for? Just if it's any sort of, I don't know, weapon or. Um, it's like a it's almost like a gong. It's like a big like embossed uh, disc. Oh, okay, so not like the the shield and the other. No, no, yeah. Okay. It's it's not designed um, to be like carried around and wielded. It looks extremely heavy. It's like several several inches thick. Okay, cool. That's all I wanted to know. Right. I guess, like, on my way out, I will just put the mask, uh, just against the wall here in this corridor. I'm gonna set mine in the lap of the corpse on the throne. Like, right <laughs> over the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, there was the fountain. Uh, this downstairs. Um, I honestly. Aldo, did you, you want to investigate? Sorry. I was just, I was just going to say I would prefer, you know, not going into the room with the magnetic statue. Uh, we will have to go in there to get out, but well, yes, but you know, I point. To I the feel stairs. like we should investigate <laughs> the staircase first. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> What's what's Eldrick doing right now? I think I'm just gonna walk towards the fountain room. <laughs> yeah, nice. go for it. <laughs> uh, okay, one square at a time. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. Um, boop. so large fountain crusted with moss. Um, three marble maidens stand in the fountain, holding pitchers, out of which water flows. And touch the fountain. Um, it seems and feels like water. Okay. Um. I mean, it's a fountain, drink, so drink, 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 I kind of want to throw drink, a penny drink, in. Drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any pennies. God damn. Yeah, you lost uh, all. You lost your coin purse. <laughs> uh, That's the genius of this particular sequence of events. No coins. <laughs> I mean, you could go back and try to athletics check them into the... I'm going to try and do that. Quick. Uh, the Lugu one. stands ready to help anyone making athletics checks, so... Okay, so your <laughs> coin purse is still stuck to the outside of the statue. Um, as soon as you touch it, you feel that the coins inside are intact. Um, they weren't, like, broken by the magic of the statue because the, the coins were sheltered by the purse. So yeah, okay. with advantage for Bugboo and Aldrich, try to pry the coin purse from the statue. I, I just, I just want one coin. <laughs> okay, okay, you can reach in. Um, in that case, I don't think you need to make an athletics check. You can just like reach in, leave okay. the rest of the bag like stuck to the statue, and take one out. It's like obviously yeah. there's a there's a tug, but with just one coin, you can manage that. No problem. Okay, because I just want to go and throw one coin into the fountain and make a wish. Clunk, what do you wish for? Oh, um, another one of those skeleton head things, if there are any. Okay. Does it? Hello. I wish for a uh, good health and and fortune and um, all my friends to be happy and stuff. Do okay. Anything? Is Your voice happy? echoes off this uh, fairly small chamber. Nothing else happens. Okay. Um, then 
I'll, uh, I'll take a drink from the fountain. I'll just put both my hands in and I'll just... Ay, good luck. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed oh, for you, buddy. Thanks. Touch wood. It's going to be fine, man. Oh my god, the roll 20 delay, the suspense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. It's broken. Even good, odd, bad. I might have to refresh roll 20. Oh, it's no. so bad. Odd, bad. Oh. That's <laughs> so funny. So, I'm going to DM you the effect, Phil. Okay. There is a searing pain. In your eyeballs, oh, no. as they oh, immediately no. begin to bleed. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> um, you do get a con save actually, so good luck. Okay. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, man. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. <laughs> not. It's not no. fine. It's not fine. <laughs> It's fine, I just look really metal now, like uh, Johnny Depp <laughs> in um, uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So you... You're, there's a horrid, like, uh, flash of pain immediately through your eyes as soon as you swallow this uh, fountain liquid. Um, and your eyes bleed and like you maybe turn around to see the rest of the group and like yeah there's just like streaks of blood coming down your face um but it, it feels almost like you kind of blink it away um you're not dead um you still kind of seem to feel all right for the moment okay how how bad does it look from where i'm standing it looks like something out of a horror movie like Aldrich just like you see him like bend over this fountain cup his hands take a drink and then he turns around and is like streaming blood from his eyes so considering the effect you gave me may I like I don't know roll like a charisma or something to just run towards him seeing that through danger um well, let's let's talk about this because I I DM'd um, Snow. I think the way that I would like to run this with the spirits' possession mm -hmm. is they will like advocate for you to do stuff, but you are in control of what choices your character makes and you RP your character as normal. I would prefer to do it that way because I don't like things that like take choice away from you and how to play your character. Uh, okay. How does that how does that sound to you guys? If you want to, like you can essentially take um, character traits if you're possessed, and like try to RP those. If that sounds fun to you, that's also cool. It, like that and part that of that way effect. To get inspiration. Yes, well, you can you you can do it that way. And if you want to, then it would like RPing character flaws and traits would would be a good way to get inspiration. But I, I also want to give you the option to just have me like advocate stuff as the spirit. And you still have control of your character. Yeah, I'm like good with that. thing with because they might that they might not always be advocating. In particular, is just like I don't like it over my current one. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's that's like, totally yeah. fine. And and you know if your if your god advocates something, you can ignore it. Graeme can say no, I don't want to do that. Um, I I say this because some of them might be like, hey, be careful over there. Some of them might be very unwise things that they might advocate you to do. Hey, go murder your friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want anyone to feel like, well, I'm possessed, so I have to do that. I appreciate that. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Also, what Aldrich just experienced is what migraine feels like, pretty much. Um, oh, but, yeah, but yeah. Way, way, way worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, can Aldrich see? Yeah, um, it, it almost it feels like you kind of blinked this off for the moment, Aldrich. It's really it was horrid, highly unpleasant experience. Uh, uh, it's like Aldrich. getting something bad in your eyes, like getting shampoo in your eye. Uh, what just okay. times a thousand? What just happened? And I will uh, literally just 
I mean, I was I was thirsty, so I had to drink. But your 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 eyes are bleeding. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just like rub blood <laughs> off my face and. Uh... Uh, come here. Is that that's not normal for? I was, I can't remember what your race is called. ASMR. I have I have drunk lots of water in my time, and this has never happened before. <laughs> God oh, damn it, Aldrich! Oh get in here, and Aldrich, I will like just try to pull him in. Oh gosh, Boo's <laughs> helping with all athletics checks. But, <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh, no. Why are you um, like this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so Graeme, uh, you get pulled back, only only ten feet. You you thud against the statue once again. I think you're <laughs> not carrying anything that can shatter. You do take one bludgeoning damage as your like back slaps against the uh, against the statue. And again, your like magical sword is intact and fine, but it's like pinned against the statue. Like and your Aldrich necklace has just, has just taken the step forward, regardless. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> just like walking to the guard on like I'm. Gonna, I just imagine that everything. from like Aldrich's perspective, like someone steps out in front of him, just like yanked to the side, <laughs> and then he's just and like, then... okay, and walks forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I've made a medicine check on Aldrich's face. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> so he ain't out of the woods yet. Um, you see some damage to his eyes. Um, he seems to be okay. He, you, like if you take, you know, you hold him in front of you, you look into his, his face, you're looking at his eyes. He's not like spaced out. He seems to see you and can focus. Um, but something has happened that's unpleasant. Um, uh, question. Since I am a cleric and I know what my spells could do, do I think that uh, lesser restoration would help him? It says you touch a creature and can Yes, either actually, cure and with means... a crit, I'm going to give you a bit more information. You, okay. Aldrig is afflicted with something called sight rot. Um, so it's a condition maybe you've seen once or twice before or read about. Um, it kicks in later. It's a delayed effect. It may maybe takes a few days, mm. um, but essentially like the victim's eyes rot away and then like squish after Ooh. a few days. That's Ooh. horrible. There's, there's a bit of time um, and it's just the sort of thing that lesser restoration would help with. Um, so I think Ava clucks her tongue and like just grabs Aldrich's face and she's like, Hold still and cast Lester Restoration on his face. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm picturing like um, almost like a fine mist comes out of your hand as you hold it over his face and like kind of washes the blood away. Sure. Your eyeballs are about to rot out of your head. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> and she, she gives his cheek a pat and says, we should be fine now. <laughs> well, I'm not thirsty anymore either, which is well, if you are, good. please don't drink from the fountain. That was a perfectly timed can I know. opening sound. <laughs> 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 All right, fine. Starts uh, okay. like sipping a monster <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Product it's, placement. It's, it's in like a it's in like a wooden bamboo tube. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I love that. I, I feel like Aldrig would have like some cans of like ale or something. Bamboo cans. <laughs> oh my god. It's because the, uh, the bamboo can stretch and the carbonation won't make it burst. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose. At least now we know what's on the other side. Uh, so... I suppose down the stairs we should go. What about uh, your zombies? I think they can remain where they are for now. Well, to you then. 
She nods and um, takes the dodge action <laughs> and starts heading down the stairs. So um, I can't see the map that you guys are on at the moment. What's the marching order down the stairs? Uh, I guess. Ava, okay. Yeah. Aldrin, Ava, Grammy. Halby, Aldrig, Grammy. Zombies we'll... at the back. I guess. Uh, we'll... Zombies aren't coming. I guess Somebody's Vossi hanging. on top of Helby as well, right now. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vossi with Helby. Okay, perfect. Just give me one moment. I'm not actually sure if this is going to work. I kind of want to leave your other tokens. I suppose I can hold on. On this you map, I'll delete your. Them. That's what I did, but I worry that that's going to mess things up, so I'm just going to delete the other ones, actually. Oh, just, okay. Just. Uh... Because otherwise you'd get sight through both at the same time, and I think sometimes that's that balks things. Mm. Uh, the music changes. The music that you hear in your mind changes to uh, something that you were hearing a little while ago. To the musical uh, theme um, of the second level. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so Ava, leading the pack, as you head down the stairs, um, old wooden benches and shelves Along the walls of this chamber are covered with gears, chains, trap components, and cages filled with rats. Lit iron bra braziers hang by chains from the ceiling. Along the north wall, a stepped dais is set with a bulky contraption, an iron maiden of sorts, attached to a network of steaming pistons, tubes, and bubbling vats of blood. Five masked dwarves operate the contraption. Do they look similar to the masked person that Aldrich saw before? Yes. The very same. It's hard to tell. Um, all masked dwarves look alike. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, actually, one of them has a red dot on him. Which, um, a one, of them is, one of them is the... Yeah. No, one of them is, is the very same. Does anyone speak Dwarvish? Nope. All right. All right then. Um. Hmm. I speak Sylvan uh, now. That's. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna take another step forward so I can see a little bit more. Have they noticed me? Um, they seem to have. Like one of them kind of glanced in your direction. And then just kind of carried on with what they were doing. They're kind of moving things about and like moving, t putting some things um, onto this uh, Iron Maiden and then going back to continue work. Uh, I turn back to Helby and I say, you may need to use your helmet if they do not speak common. Okay. And then she turns back to the room and she says... Hello there. Do you speak? I, I prefer not to, <laughs> but I can if the need rises. <laughs> Who are you? What are you all doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing, lass. <laughs> well... You don't look like a doomed child to me. <laughs> I, I take that as a compliment, I suppose. <laughs> you, you don't. She's got a strange vernacular. You don't look like a doomed child to me either. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, that is a tough, tough question to ask. We Danny have devices. Haven't they seen the sun for quite some time? Hard to track the passing of time. We are a group of adventurers. We have come here because there is a curse plaguing Cholt. 
We believe there's something within this place that can put that curse to an end. I looks at you like you've just said, I think the sky is blue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about this? I I think you don't even want to mess with the master of my glass. You, you're in over your head. One of them goes by, like, carrying a, like, slab of metal, um, and, like, nails it to, uh, something that's inside the Iron Maiden. There's another, like, hiss of steam that comes out. Why do you serve him? I don't have much choice in the matter. Wouldn't he, up, wouldn't he be up in a boat if it weren't for him? Got to try not to bite the hand that feeds. You catch my drift. Keeps us busy, you know. Hundreds of years is a long, long time. And as that it would be for our kind. Keep your hands busy building something. It's not. It's not so bad. Speaking so, of which, you might want to make yourself scarce. What we build down here, pretty powerful stuff, if I do say so myself. You, you I, seem like a nice lass, not a doomed child. You might want to <laughs> pop back on up to the surface, lass. Best place for you, nothing but death down here. Well, I believe we have already seen your handiwork. It is quite impressive. I don't even think you have, love. Look. I suppose not, if I'm still standing here to talk to you about it. Well, Helby, you can use the mask on them or not. It's up to you. Um, Ava's turning around to go because there's just dwarves down here and they want us to leave. <laughs> Yeah, why not while I'm here? Uh, so, use an action to cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. I think it's like, um, so how deep do you want to delve? I think you can get surface level thoughts and then you can delve deeper if you want to make them like have a saving throw against the spell. Mm. I think I know. You can get the surface thoughts first and then make a decision. Yeah, okay, let's do that then. Um, so on the surface they are busy. Um I think like you you sense that they are constructing something. Um their focus is on the north part of the room towards this Iron Maiden. Um and they don't at the moment bear ill will to you. They kind of are indifferent. Uh, they're certainly not going to go out of their way to help you out. Um, you're not feeling like strong maliciousness or anything like that, but also not particularly caring if you live or die. Um, and like are okay with a little interruption, a little entertainment, but pretty soon they're going to go back to finishing constructing whatever uh, they've been ordered to construct. Can I find out what they've been ordered co to construct? That is where the further delving would need to take place. Mm. You could. Okay. If you, uh, if you probe deeper. A little f further delve then. So I get a saving throw? Yeah, uh, I think so. Um, and probably a wisdom save. It yeah, should I think be it's on the page. item page thing. Yeah. 
either that or um oh jelly if you don't have the spell um on your character sheet you can just click on the compendium the eye icon and then um search for detect thoughts i'll, I'll pull it up as well i think like the dc is set by the magic item though right yes yeah you gotta it's unfortunately like it lets like you it's... cast detect thoughts the spell but then it also has an additional layer of effect from the item yeah okay i feel i'm i'm just like unsure about it but i feel like it was a dc 13. It, i think it was a 13 yeah yeah you guys have insane memories <laughs> okay so um do you yeah, have on your character sheet anything wild, about me <laughs> <laughs> also dc 13 is pretty standard for a magic item in my experience <laughs> okay I'm just looking up the Helm of Telepathy as well. Um, okay. All right, I'm going to make a Wisdom saving throw. Yes! I've got a 12. <laughs> <laughs> so... Sorry, I was way too excited by that. <laughs> <laughs> you gain insight into its reasoning, its emotional state, something that looms large in its mind. Um... <laughs> And the target will know that you're probing its mind. All right. So what you gain is that they are constructing. God, I wish I hadn't used construct in the beginning of that sentence because I want to use it at the end. They're constructing <laughs> a construct. Um, they building. are they're building a construct. They are tasked with um, creating uh, from whatever organic scraps they can find. Um, these unholy abominations with the purpose of protecting the tomb um and they do this perfectly happily like they're it's uh not a noble task they're constructing these uh these awful um undead creatures um uh which is what uh johnny red spot over here was just uh nailing a piece of metal to um and having like noticed that you are detecting its mind um his uh kind of curiosity with the group of you this this one that's standing in front of you kind of turns uh to a kind of bitterness um and the uh indifference that he had over whether you live or die uh turns to outright hostility <laughs> as you intrude in this creature's mind um and i think he he will say that's right. Look deeper. That's where you'll find the designs that I keep for these creatures. Um, and at that moment, the iron contraption in the north of the room shudders as it opens, releasing a hissing cloud of steam. Through the roiling vapor, an armored figure wearing a bucket helm stomps into view. B was? Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's time to roll initiative. Time to say goodbye. That, that team dwarf. To uh, fight and team dwarf, die. Team dwarf uh, blushes. Um, you feel like he's a little embarrassed that he didn't say something much, much cooler at that moment, but he uh, he stumbled over his words and said something not very cool. <laughs> um, and he blushes, which is weird for an undead. Well. Uh, I need to move Vossi off of my square so I can... I guess let's move. Here, I'll give you some space. You can oh. oh, okay. Okay, it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there okay. we go. <laughs> All right. Do we want to just move everyone back one, or do you just need to do that? <laughs> <laughs> move back <clears throat> yeah. Should we move back one? Okay. We should probably. Um... We'll drink. I think what he said, I'm going to wreck on this. I want him to say, have said something much cooler than that was as the quite side. So I think he says something like, uh, that's right, lass. Probe deeper, look further. But 
At some point, you might find something you don't like. And he pulls his axe out. It's not that cool, but it's better than the shit that he said before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Is everyone on there? Everyone that's acting? Zombies are upstairs still chilling. Um, I will give them initiative order just in case. Well, I'll roll it if I give them an order, then I'll have roll initiative for them. So I think I can do it telepathically. All right. Um, Helby, you're up. Um, okay. Uh, I can't move past people, can I? Oh, no, I can move past Ava and... Your allies, you can, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't end your turn in the square, but you can move yeah. past them. Okay. So I am going to... Um... Sorry, which end of the room is the big iron man? At the north, north end. Okay, so I'm going to run to there. Blimey, hello. And um, can I, do, will I have to disengage if I take my, my bonus action to dash? Because I'm um... If you don't want to be attacked, you yeah, you would need to if you're going to move away from them. Yeah, okay. So I will also dash. Uh, and how far... Sorry, I'm, I don't know how far I can. Uh, another 25, that would give you, okay. if you, if you dash. So I will go back here. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot an arrow at this guy in front of me. Shoot that poison arrow! Uh, so my... your action was to disengage? Oh, my action was to disengage, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll stay here then. Let's meet them. Heldrake. Hello. 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 <laughs> uh, I'll hex this guy. And, uh, stop blasting. hey -oh! Um... Dodge Blast. That hits. 15. Okay, uh, so he gets one of them. And then he takes some of this. Okay. And then he gets another okay, one. Okay, so <clears throat> the um, hexing doesn't seem as effective as you would expect, but the um, Heldridge Blast itself does seem to seem to work pretty good. Okay. The second one, um, yeah, hits as well. And... Ooh, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's wounded him pretty badly, actually. <clears throat> the uh, smirk that was on his face um, slips a little bit. He enjoyed the brain probing a lot more than he did that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm aiming at his head so I can try and maybe get, get more in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? Any movement? No, I don't, I don't like moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so <laughs> this one uh moves towards you, Ava, and first we'll try to stab you. Okay. Yes, the hits, perfect. Twenty one um, for seven. <laughs> yeah, as soon as his battle axe bites into me, uh lightning arcs up of it into his body as I uh, use Wrath of the Storm. Okay. Let me find it. Ah, uh, shite! <laughs> <laughs> working at him like you, fucker. <laughs> uh, 2d8. Um, I need a dex save from oh. you. Alright, uh, you take four lightning damage. Okay. And then um, he reaches towards you with the other hand um, and tries to grasp you by the throat. It's a dwarf. How is he going to reach? It's <laughs> on his tippy toes. <laughs> um, misses? Yeah. He can't reach. 
<laughs> he's on his tippy toes and like grasps like swings his arm like below your throat and like oh, shit. get down here get down here put some phone book down on the floor <laughs> uh next turn he's just like going to grab a little like um stool or something put it in front of him <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a bunch more of them. So, um, let's see. That one can make it over here. Um, this one can make it over here. Uh, this one will make it over there. So, two will attack you, um, Helby. Um, twice each, or once and then a life drain each. Uh, so, 20 for nine. Okay. And misses with that. The other one misses and misses. <laughs> They're grasping Oof. too high now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I reach down low enough. <laughs> They've not got very uh, flexible knees being undead, so they can't really bend down very well. <laughs> okay, um, and the other two uh, will make two crossbow attacks each. Um, just at Ava, the only attack uh, target they have. Yeah. Miss. Twelve. Get Miss. Um. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you half cover, so plus two to the AC from the dwarf. It's only a dwarf, so they can shoot above. <laughs> um. It is literally half uh, cover. So uh, 20, 22. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. one hit. <laughs> Bottom half cover. <laughs> uh. And a 15. Alright, that's all my boys. Bussy. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Can she get past? Oh, no, she can't, can she? Uh, no. Uh, she's just gonna have to bite the guy in front of her, then. I don't think she um, can reach. She I mean, can't reach. Okay. Although she might be able to move. Um, legs. Could she go <laughs> like this? I'm going to allow that. Well, I think... Yeah, you can, right? You can't attack round corners, but you can just move around corners. Yeah, so sorry, you can you can get by. She can? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think cool. if we were all back one square, you'd be a little bit yeah. stuck. Okay, so she. Oh. I think also I was about to allow her like ducking between your legs to attack. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so she's gonna move to here. And she's gonna. Attack. So she would get an attack of opportunity on the way. Okay. Uh, so is that. Uh, is a miss. Cool. Um, so she's gonna bite the guy. You wee beastie. <laughs> she slips by. <laughs> yep, so make makes a bite attack. Go ahead. Uh misses. Okay. She does have a plus six. I feel like Vossi misses a lot. Yeah. Grammy. Well seeing as Ava is in the way, I'm going to I have to be creative with my movement here and I will run forward down the stairs. Um jump to the side bounce off the wall <laughs> slide over over hell the dwarf yeah. and stab <laughs> downwards on my way awesome hell wow. yes <laughs> totally totally um and you hit you sneak attack very nice um with your plus one short sword okay that's good to know um oh my god well snow straight up continue narrating your awesome move, because you, you kill you kill this thing. Okay. Um, God, wait, hold on. Uh, oh God, I did not plan the plan it this far. Where is my? Uh, is my alchemy jug? <laughs> okay. No, 
No. Okay, well, I will then uh, run. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just kind of look in awe at what I just did <laughs> and then just kind of push past Ava again. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that worked! <laughs> and that's my turn. All right, awesome. That was such a badass move. It's very cool. So, the hulking mass that has just been born, just been constructed, um, will... Let me see... Will charge forth uh, with a heavy, like, clanking. Stands on top of the felled dwarf, and, like, his foot, like, crushes um, some of his ribcage just from his weight and like descends a little bit like caves a bit of his chest in um and stands there and like tries to stock you with his enormous uh chunky arms um <laughs> Ava. okay good Great. glad we cleared that up yeah, <laughs> nice <laughs> great uh that's a miss and a hit a hit for 13. Now I have one less HP than I started the two with. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your turn. Uh, oh, man. I wish he were one space back. Uh, how big is this room? Um, you are seeing the north wall there and but the south wall there. How, so... how tall is this room? Um, oh. One moment. I know you gave us a guide for how big um, so the, rooms are normally. The way the way that works is like unless specified otherwise, then it's that uh, size. So I just need to check if it's if it yeah. says this this room is uh, different from the others. Okay, so nothing different from normal. Uh, ceilings are twelve foot twelve foot high. Uh, let me. And fifty five feet across. Okay, we should be good then. Oh my god. I am going to fill this room with a storm cloud. All right. And cast call lightning. Awesome, okay. Um, I'm going to point to this space here. All right. And call down a lightning bolt out of that storm cloud. It's just, it's interesting. It's hovering like two feet off the ground and just like collecting in all this space in the room. It's probably like drifting into the stairwell as well. And then this lightning bolt just uh, comes together out of the storm cloud and then just lightning fast, obviously, strikes the ground next to this guardian dude. So let me mark my spell. I need a, I believe it's a dexterity saving throw. The guardian yeah. does not attempt to dodge. Um, uh -oh. And your lightning bolt like strikes the ground near it and you can see it like coursing all through this thing's armor. Uh oh. Um, and it just like holds its arms up like, yes, yes. Oh, no. Praise uh, the sun. Well, <laughs> um, I'm going to be useless here. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so it took no damage and appeared to very much enjoy that. Um, yeah, well, and it's still got like little sparks of lightning like coursing knew, across its armor. I knew I should have taken elemental affinity instead of fucking lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'm running out of spell slots. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon at level 3. How long uh, does Cold Lightning last for? Uh, a while. It's not, uh, is it 10 minutes? Because if so, I yes. won't track it. Okay. Easily plenty enough. Plenty of time. 
Um, so, oh, I can't. I can't use two spell slots. Shoot. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Helby. Can you pu uh, hold on? Can you push it still with your thingy? I I've used reaction and it did. It says um when it takes damage. I'm pretty sure, okay. and it didn't take damage. Okay. Let me double check. When you deal lightning damage to a larger, smaller creature, you can push it. I didn't deal any damage. Okay. LB. Okay, uh, I'm gonna shoot an arrow at the guy in front of me, like directly to my right. Okay, with disadvantage, uh, you still hit. It's getting all up in your business, distracting you, putting you off, trying to grab at your bow as you try to get an arrow into it, but you still hit. Cool, and then Bossy's gonna bite. Um, Actually, she's gonna. You, uh, your arrow hits, but doesn't seem to do as much damage as you would normally expect. Um, yeah, so Vossi's gonna cl at the guy in front of her. Okay. Vossi, uh, get your head in the game! What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's me. Aldrich. Filippo, you are you are muted, muted. sir. Oh, I didn't realize. Uh, bonus Hello. action hex move move hex onto him. Okay. And but <laughs> <laughs> nope. Again. Nope. Are they both nopes? I They're assume nopes. a massive suit of armor. It's gonna have a pretty high uh thingy. Cool. Yeah. That's my turn yeah. then. Please miss. All right, um, so two attack with crossbows on Ava. Um, How much cover power? do I get from a Tomb Guardian, though? <clears throat> I think they're going to move so that they can shoot you at all, but you will get three quarters cover, which is a plus five. Okay. Because this guy's big. So um, are you so like two... 23 or something? Yes, I have 23 AC. Now. 23. <laughs> they, can, they can hit, but it needs a very good roll. So two each. Twenty-two, <laughs> but not good enough. Oh, okay. yeah. All miss. <laughs> they got a tiny, tiny target. The others have a tiny target as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Vossi, um, sorry. Vo well, one will attack Vossi. Uh, let's do that first. Uh, Nineteen for seven. Yeah, that hits. And then we'll att attempt the uh, throttling maneuver. Misses. Misses. The other on um, Helby, 17. That hits. For nine. And then. Ah, one nice. day, one day I will hit with that. I'll <laughs> be rolling all like ones and stuff. Can I um, use my fade away as a reaction? You can, most certainly, yes. Um, so. I turn invisible. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, can I? I can't move or anything though. No, I just turn, literally turn invisible and stay where I am. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, bossy. Come on, bossy. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> let's go, bossy. Let's go. <laughs> He's gonna claw again. Hey. Nice. Hey. <laughs> um, I believe that her attacks don't yet count as magical. I think that's something that she will get later. Okay. Yeah. No. It's so. Right. Yeah. So that doesn't seem to. She doesn't exactly sink her teeth into flesh, claws into flesh, but it does damage it, just uh, only a little. Okay. Grammy, um, I guess let's probably finish out this initiative round. All right. Um, I think in just 
a moment of insight, she raises her component pouch and speaks words that she to herself doesn't understand. And she casts Bless on Aldrich herself. Let's say on Ava. Thank you. Maybe put right. that awesome. on initiative order as well, just so we don't forget till next time. Yes. Okay, it's it's uh, one minute. Yes. Yes, it's one minute. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anything else, Grammy? Um. Oh, it's a little thumbs up symbol. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, may I throw my remaining ball bearings to like just? I no, I don't think I do you... anything. I mean, you can. It's up to you if you want to. I don't see a point. So. All right. Yeah. That's it. Okay, um, this guy will use that ability <laughs> <laughs> and will attempt to slam Ava. Okay. Yep. 24 for 13. Uh, before you do the second one, let me oh. roll. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. No, no, it's um, okay. It's okay. I, I, I was too hasty. Um, I just want to make sure I remember to do my con saves. Oh, yes. So, um, let's see, it was 13, so it's going to be DC 10. We're fine, I'm not even going to roll the bless. Um, and then he does the second attack, which hits. Um, so I'll roll another con save, with, and I don't need the bless, so I still All have right. concentration. Let me take the damage now. <laughs> so many things are happening, and then I'm going to use my reaction... Uh, to do thunder damage on him because it doesn't always have to be lightning. <laughs> <laughs> and lightning seems like a bad idea. Oh man, okay. Perfect. Oh, that's so. Well, and we haven't really great. done any damage to him yet, so it's fine. <laughs> we will test this out at so least. So you, you always uh, you get a choice when when doing this mm -hmm. between the two. It says, yep, that's lightning awesome. or thunder okay. damage, your choice. So awesome. make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> and this is the first time it's not been lightning but instead like the shock wave emanates out of me you fail <laughs> you take six uh thunder damage and i fling you back away from me <laughs> awesome so i think he's like uh he sees you starting to to like make your um incantations or whatever your your physical movement is to respond that he's seen before Mm -hmm. um and he's like moving towards you like yes please give me some more of that um and thunder comes out instead which i guess is some kind of percussive like uh strike yeah somehow distinct from force don't ask me how and he like skids back across the room um all right your turn so I still have concentration on my storm, so I may as well use it. I'm going to point here to this spot. Okay. And so I can blast those two dwarves. Uh, please give me dexterity saving throws. Top and then bottom. 13, 13. I'm going to use my channel divinity to maximize the damage. Enjoy your, uh, what is it, 30 damage? 30 lightning damage? Have fun with that. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. They both live, but they're not looking so hot. Helby, uh... you've seen this before. You've seen Ava like precisely place the lightning yeah. bolt. You know she's keeping it just out of range. <laughs> Same with Vossi. <laughs> um... I'm going to use my bonus action to call forth a spiritual weapon at level three. Nice. Okay. I'm going to place it right here. I think it um, 
So when the thunder comes out of me, you know how you can kind of see the air warping when it's hot? Yeah. It kind of does that also with that percussive blast. And then some of that warped air forms into a sword. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and um, it's going to take a swipe at Mr. Golomi, dude. Uh, and whiff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still have movement. And I can't take many more slam attacks. I also want to make sure that Graeme and Aldrich are able to move if they want to. <laughs> um, I'm going to give them the opportunity to tank some hits if they want to. It's up to them. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to move to here. Alrighty. So Ava charges further into the room that's still filled with uh, her crackling lightning. Um, and that is where we will leave it for today. Cool. I need to find something that looks like lightning, so I remember that I have that up. There we go. Lightning bolt. Boom. Awesome. Well, that was an awesome session. Honestly, we got a lot done. We did. Yeah. I am surprised. We, we usually don't all. get much done. <laughs> See that? That's a big unknown for me. Like, um, I guess you know, combat's pretty much in dandy the thing that always takes longest. But if you do avoid it, like with the with the tomb with Obalaka, yeah. um, these things you can get. Yeah, you can get a lot done pretty quick. Nobody died. Bravo. Yet. <laughs> I know you're I know you're disappointed, Kappa. <laughs> I'm on your side always. I know. But no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what time it is. What's, what's the little thumbs up on me? Oh the, is it what? Bless? Eight? Bless. Yes. Bless. Okay. Okay, let's see if the Discord is dead. This, the bot is dead. No, it isn't. Good. All right. You know, Derek, speaking of an awesome session, where can we find more of your awesomeness? Yes, I have awesome gaming sessions uh, every Sunday afternoon um, on my Twitch channel. I'm doing something called iSomnium Files at the moment. It's like an anime murder mystery detective where you delve into people's dreams uh, to uncover clues. It's pretty cool. I'm quite enjoying it. Um, I just discovered last time that it's not the linear thing that I thought it was going to be. Actually, it's got multiple endings, um, probably a lot of bad ends. So <laughs> I'm going to be exploring all of the bad ends and hopefully a good end at some point. So yeah, that's that's the plan for Sunday. Awesome. So that's like the epic gaming portion of this chat here, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Uh, but we do have someone else who streams games here. Estaini, where can we find Hi. you? Um, Twitch.tv slash Estaini. I'm actually going to be streaming in about 20 minutes. We're going to be playing Never Alone, which I'm excited for. It's like a, like a puzzle platformer, and we've got like a fox friend. I saw that one. It looks really cute. Yeah, I think it's going to be sad. I think I'm going to cry. I, I just, it's, it hits me as one of those games where it's gonna like it's gonna put the fox in danger and then the fox is gonna die and then i'm gonna cry that's probably what's gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be fun also um i'm gonna be doing a bonus stream on saturday so if you want to hang out for twitch things i'll be doing that saturday oh my god so many things are happening on saturday ah i can't get to them all no oh well Jelly. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> all right. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate you playing with us each and every week. It is awesome to have you. Thank you. Just, just want to say that, you know? Just, we appreciate you. We appreciate you that too. Awesome. I appreciate you. Buy yourself I, I a house. I appreciate you. <laughs> Buy yourself two houses. 
All right, Phil. You did. You, Hello. You started streaming again, right? Yeah. I was doing some painting. I started streaming on uh, what was it, Wednesday or Thursday, and I was going to play Vampire the Masquerade again. Um, and then uh, Biz and Mech came into the stream, subbed, and went, "Come and play Remnant from the Ashes." Uh, <laughs> with us so i was like okay and then i tried to stream remnant from the ashes and it didn't it didn't want to do it so i just stopped the stream i was like easiest ten dollars of my life Wah. so <laughs> um i've been playing that quite a bit it's quite fun it was free on epic games a while ago i wouldn't pay money for it but it is quite fun if you like uh it's like gears of war and dark souls combined mm -hmm. so pretty good that game actually... but yeah i was gonna go through vampire the masquerade again actually does sound awesome yeah i was gonna go through as a full protean gangrel <laughs> that is fun just uh beat beat the shit out of everything that is fun yeah just like don't play with higher difficulty mods when you do that it's not fun that way <laughs> yeah the the combat in vampire the masquerade is a bit like if you get blocked, you just get killed, and it doesn't feel fun. No. But hopefully the second one's going to come out eventually. That would be nice, since eventually. I pre-ordered it in November last year. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oh, damn, That'd what? November yeah, last this... Oh, jeez. Yeah, wow. they said it was coming out in March, and then mm -hmm. uh, it's been put back to September this year. Uh, speaking of which, Necromunda is coming out on the 8th of next month but uh yeah, yeah they've sacked the two lead designers for vampire the masquerade um yeah. and replaced them with two guys from ubisoft so it's now i think probably gonna get finished but it might just be a horrible shit mess like the first one was when it came out so we will see all right well i suppose let's end here thank you for being here we're going to be raiding someone and I'm like looking at the list and I'm having trouble deciding. So I'm just gonna ask uh, Derek, Amaya or Kulan? Uh, let's do Kulan. Oh, too. Kulan. <laughs> All right. Well, Kulan is currently playing. Apparently, we were here together. So if you would like to let him know that you are part of this stream, this raid, what am I saying? No, he's playing We the Revolution. He's just in the wrong category, apparently. Whatever. Please do copy the message that I just put in chat and uh, say hi. He is an awesome dude. Stick around. I do really, really like, like being in his stream. It's just unfortunate that I usually don't get to. So let's raid someone awesome. Thank you everyone for being here. Great. Where, what is the number? Oh, seven, right. <laughs> Alright. I guess that is it. Bye. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Alright. See ya. Wow, we have a raid. It's a big raid. Hello, Snow and Raiders. Thank you for joining me.